Okay, we are officially going, guys. Uh, welcome to session one of Civil War Alliance. Thank you guys for wanting to willingly participate in this work in progress homebrew of mine. I really do hope everybody enjoys it. That's, as I've said, even in the session zero, that's really my goal of all of this is for you guys to enjoy the game. With that being said, we're we're not going to waste any time. We're going to jump immediately into it and start with our introduction. Uh, so if you'll give me just a second here, I will uh, give us the, the read-in for it. I'm having a hard time hearing you with the uh, music as well. Uh, you can, in uh, Discord, if you want to right-click on the music bot, you can slide the slider all the way down. I can't control it any other way. 7% oh, okay. is what I have it yeah. on, and it seems like a pretty good... Yeah, I have it pretty low on mine as well. Yeah, turning it down helped. <laughs> yep. All right, so here we go. Um, also remember, you can uh, make everyone else louder. Yes, you can. All right, everybody ready? Hell yeah. Ready. All right. Ha -ha. Here we go. Some might say a war has been brewing for years. In the months leading up to their confrontation... Food and supplies have never arrived to the island of Rainhaven. Baron Peridris, head of the Peridris family and ruler of Rainhaven, was angry with the king, believing that he had let a personal disagreement stand in between uh, taking care of the people of the Alliance. Though the king claimed this not to be true, the proof was right in front of us. The island of Rainhaven was abandoned, and a king which chooses to abandon his people was really no king at all. It was Peridris who struck first, at least according to the ledgers left behind at the sanctum of Yaros. When ships finally arrived at Rainhaven, it was too late in the eyes of even the Baron. The supply ship was plundered, the king's guards all killed. The vessel itself was destroyed. I couldn't support the actions of Peridris and his men. Ultimately, it led to a rift between the Alliance leaders. And when the Peridris military hit Clycare Island, it was only Lady Gladomain who would step forward and attempt to bring an end to the fighting. We were cowards. We chose to not intervene. And because of this disagreement between the Baron and the King, perhaps it is our fault that we are where we are, we are now. However, Gladomain poured everything into this. She didn't want to believe that the king would abandon the people, for he had never done so since he had taken the throne. However, when Peridris refused to listen and continued to advance on Clycare, Gladomain would be forced to aid the Storm King. Organizing her militia and that of the Storm King, they were able to defend Clycare Island and force Peridris back to Rainhaven. But, if it was Peridris who started the war, it was the Storm King who put it to an abrupt end. The city of Ashenport, the hometown of the Peridris family, was all but destroyed. Members of the Peridris family were hunted by the king's men, one by one slaughtered for his people to watch. Though brutal as it may have been, I have no idea if I would have reacted any differently. During the attack on Stormholm Castle, the queen was assassinated, poisoned. They say that it was Peridris who hired the assassin as a backup plan. When the sword pierced the throat of the Baron, the people stopped fighting. Holding the sword, the Storm King stood, looking down at the carnage at his feet. That was ten years ago. Tomorrow is renewal day. We haven't heard confirmation for, that the king might be joining us for the meeting. Our people desperately need our king's aid to come to us once again. Ten years of being closed off from Clycare has been far too much for the Outer Islands to endure. Now, it isn't just Rainhaven whom have been abandoned. It is all of us. And time is running out. Signed, Bos Victus the Proud.
Okay. Though usually not a place one would go for a vacation, the shoreline of Luscan is a visible buzz as individuals enter and exit the ships on the dock. The sounds of the water crashing into the sides of the ships and rippling back out into the sea. Bells mounted upon the ships, gently ringing from the wake. The wood of the ships creaking as they bend and rub together. The workers grunting to quickly load and offload the ships as, they, as people come and go. The bustle of the busy dock and the people looking to just get away. New worlds, far off adventures, and perhaps a new life often lie ahead for the people who make their way through this coastal, uh, small coastal town. And they look to get as far away as possible. At the end of the dock stands a thin, very tense half-elf, barking orders at the crew as he prepares his vessel for a voyage across the trackless sea. The young captain watches the crew, enduring both, uh, ensuring both his men and the cargo are well prepared for the voyage ahead. The man reaches into his pocket, grabbing a small piece of parchment from within. Unfurling the sheet, he reads to himself, Island nations at war. Supplies are scarce. Please send help to the Living Isles. With supplies not enough for the mission uh, he had undertaken, he begins to seek out others who may come to the aid of the Living Isles. Skytarnith, the Daring, faintly recalls as a child hearing stories about the Alliance and headlines from a notebook left behind indicate that the Alliance is still going. Unfortunately, a lot of the, the details of these articles are vastly outdated. Though, through a bit of research, he can indicate that the Rent Key is the best point of travel to the Isles, as it is only the outer facing, as it is the only outer facing landing point from the trackless sea. I will share your logo with you. Well, thank you. And let's, um, I got to change something. One sec. There we go. Okay. Sorry about that. Um, the flyers that Skitarneth is posted around Lascan to attract aid to the Alliance has brought some rather undesirable individuals looking to set sail with him. Already taking on a, f a few less than ideal individuals for the journey, he hopes to find something more amongst the crowd that await him. Uh, because this is his vessel, he feels fortunate enough that he has the final say in who can board. Wading through the random drunkards that remained, Skitharnath notices an out-of-place individual. A tiny, pale-skinned drow, half-elf, wearing shaded glasses, who pushes her way to the front of the line. Would you like to introduce Pandora, please? All right. Uh, Pandora, as described, is a very disheveled and small-looking individual. Um, there's clear lines under her eyes from insomnia, and she's her step with a bit of a staff, and she's also got a book at her hip, a very large, uh, dusty-looking tome. But when she approaches the captain, she offers an awkward bow, and... Uh, <laughs> a nervous smile and says, I heard you were looking looking for help. Uh, my, my master said it would be wise to seek out one such as yourself. One such as myself? That's right. You have a great destiny about you, and I am here to assist. Well, that's good to hear, at least. Wait, Dusty, what happens to be your name? Uh, Pandora is what they call me. And uh, what, what can you do? What can you give me to help me on my endeavors? 
um, magic, sir. Uh, I know magic, and I can uh, help guide you through the stars if need be. Magic never helped me before? What? Show me something. Uh, okay, with that, she's going to... Uh, she's going to look for maybe a seagull perched up on a on a roof or or maybe maybe even the mast and she's just going to take a quick eldritch blast pot shot at it that'll do well it was a nine so probably not <laughs> you 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 hit the bird but it all it does is like singes the feather and the bird actually gets a little disgruntled at you and kind of glances down just as if he's going to ruin your day later. She she kind of shirks back a bit at the glower from the bird, but she, she looks to him with an approving smile and is like, see, I know magic and I, I can make sure your enemies are, are not very good at what they do when the time comes. Well, if you can do that to the, the bad guys, but better, I hope. I guess yes, I... I would hope so, too. <laughs> we'll see what you do in battle. If it comes to that. And with that, Pandora slowly walks up the ramp, makes her way up onto the ship, kind of hanging out towards the front. Um, not really doing anything, just kind of surveying everything that's going on. But back towards the front of the group, however, someone's kind of helping to maintain order. This... Uh, tall half-elf kind of waits patiently for Skitharna to uh, take notice of him again. Um, as the group behind him kind of pushes forward, he speaks up, somewhat calming the group behind him and preventing the people uh, from who are stuck in the middle from kind of getting trampled. And it immediately grabs Skitharna's attention, who turns to him to speak. Kaisis, what you, doing to my, what, you, what you doing to my, uh, my, my crowd? Kaisis, would you like to introduce your character, please? Uh, yeah, I'm, you know, a taller, uh, thin half elf with brown hair, um, and I'll turn towards you, sort of, as you take notice to me, and um, I'll, I'll, uh, a, de a smile will definitely come across my face as uh, I feel like you finally noticed me, and I'll extend my hand and I'll say, uh, Kaisis is the name. It's, it's a pleasure to finally meet you. Yes. Uh, pleasure. <laughs> what can you do for me? Well, I guess that depends on what you need done. Uh, I've always kind of been one to pick up the sword and help those in need. And I'll sort of, you know, he'll sort of take a moment and look around and kind of just survey the whole area and everybody and uh, and I can't think of a time where people need help more than now. Right you are. But what can you offer me? Show me something. Uh, Show your skill. I'll sort of um, shake my uh, left hand that has my sword, uh, my shield uh, buckled to my arm, and I'll pull the, my short sword out of the sheath, and I'll, you know, maybe do a little, you know, showboating and twirling. Um, I'm, I've... Known around my area is quite the swordsman. Well, hopefully you can twirl, do more than twirl at the enemy. Hop aboard. Go along with Dusty over there. Uh, I'll head up the ramp, and uh, if I see she's walking with like a staff, I'll even offer to maybe help her up the ramp. Uh, uh, I mean, I, I can manage, really. And with that sound of a very large bird flapping off in the distance quickly draws Skitarnath's attention towards the crow's nest of his ship. There, sitting down on the edge of the bucket and looking down on the docks, the Arakoka speaks down towards the ship's captain. Largus, would you like to introduce your character, please? Greetings, friend. I, my name is Laragus Tethayala. I wish to come aboard. Hold up, sticky keys just activated. <laughs> I have heard the troubles of the 
alliance, and I wish to walk the righteous path. Did I invite you onto my ship, Featherhead? Get down here. My apologies. And uh, with that, I fly down to him. Uh, my apologies. Oi, Dusty, you missed a spot here. What, what can you do for me? Well, as I, uh, as you may have just seen, my ability to fly may aid you well. I can see the foe far before he can see us. You have eyes. Unique. Okay, I guess I could use you. All right, Featherhead, get up there. We got thin ice. Thank you, sir. And with that, Skitarna motions to everyone that he has just taken his very last passenger for his voyage. While disgruntled, the people leave the dock, make their way uh, back to their business that they were previously attending to. With a vessel full of supplies and at least a handful of good volunteers, Skitar and his crew unties the ship from the dock and they begin their journey through the trackless sea. Can I, can I yell back to the crowd that's dispersing? Sorry folks, but maybe you'll get to live. More than some of us can say. <laughs> The fresh air from the water below splashing up on the deck makes Skitharnath feel a bit at home. Uh, while some of the would-be adventurers below deck haven't fared quite as well as he has, roughly 13 days pass and travel to the rent key kind of goes off without a hitch. Uh, the boat pulls up to the cape and getting somewhat closer to the docks, though water is not really deep enough to bring the ship all the way in uh the crew slowly begins to bring the boat to a stop and however from the ground below several loud voices can be heard off with you Renki is off limits by order of the alliance the origins of the voice are a little hard to determine so as you look over the edge and towards the dock you see an armed dwarf carrying a Warhammer nearly the size of himself. We're not friends. We are allies of the uh, Alliance. Uh, if you have business with the Alliance, take it up with Saren Paradris. Where might we find him? Uh, we we're told to come to Rint Key. Uh, Paradris is on Rint Avon, about a day south of here. Can you resupply us anything? Can we stop for some food? Land for our like, land lovers like, here. Well, we'll give you one day's rations for all of your your travelers. Then you'll be gone. Shouting continues from the dock. It's really hard to distinguish anything else he's saying. He's so just upset and bothered that you're even interrupting his day that he starts walking off, and as he's walking off, uh, the shouting brings the rest of the party to the dock. Uh, getting your extra rations for the day, he sends you on your way south, about southwest. Uh, do you choose to... Uh, how, which way do you want to go? Do you want to just go straight through the, the bay? It'll cut a little time off if you go through the bay. Uh, otherwise, you're going to have to uh, go around the island, and that's going to take uh, a couple of days, and you may not have enough supplies for it. Is there a benefit to doing that? N there's really no benefit either way. It's just your choice of which direction you're coming in from. Well, I'd say we just go straight. Okay. I mean, I... I if anyone else has anything to say. <laughs> All right. So coming up from the dock, the sound of a... Oh, no. Wrong wrong page. Hold on. One sec. I got the wrong one. There we go. Um, only a few hours, really, southwest, and the party finally arrives near the docks of Ashenport. Uh, 
Standing at the bow of the ship, uh, you look down and the dark murk of the bay hosts some really strange and unknown terrors. You can't really make out anything underneath the water, but you can tell this is really dangerous territory. Uh, to the right, you see a sunken boat, uh, waterlogged dead bodies floating on top of a piece of wooden plank. The shocking sight is immediately made less shocking as a sudden jolt emanates from the vessel and a boat comes to a sudden stop. The sound of boards creaking and splitting from below, certainly not something you want to hear. Let me have a dexterity saving throw from everybody, please. Uh, uh how do I do that? Just click on where it says dexterity uh, on your character sheet. Right under saving throws. Do you see you see where your character sheet is? Yes. Yeah, but there's only the bio. I don't see anything else. Uh, so there should be three tabs. Uh, towards the top, oh, when I'm gonna say character sheet. There you go. And yeah, just click where it says dexterity, and then we can go from there. Should be towards the top left. There you go. There we go. All right. This with that. The saving, the saving throw. Yeah. Uh, with that, uh, watching from the bow of the ship. Suddenly. Kaisis loses his footing and heads over the railing of the boat. Uh, frantically, uh, I'm going to assume everybody wants to save him and keep him from going over. I stand back and watch the crew at work. Would anybody like to pull Kaisis up before... Uh, yeah. Yeah? Okay. Yeah. So you quickly scramble over to him, try to pull him up. Uh, he makes it back up there's really no challenge it's really just to make you guys get used to doing saving throws that's really what this is about I'm trying to get you accustomed to roll 20 here it's kind of like your tutorial level uh, the boat has unfortunately hit something underneath though not enough damage to sink the ship it has lodged itself into position after investigation, the, the site of the destroyed ships that there's a site of a destroyed ship that impedes your movement, forcing everybody to abandon the ship and take rowboats to shore. One second. I realize now I hit the wrong button. That's okay. You still made it. One sec. <sighs> Similar to the town of Lascan, uh, which you had just left, there's a lot to be desired in Ashenport. The town itself is but a shell of what it used to be, with most of the houses either empty or abandoned, uh, some still smoldering, uh, some still a smoldering uh, pit of lumber. Food is scarce, death lingers in the air. To the east, on the top of the hill, sits the Paradris Manor. Uh, the grass surrounding it uh, recently caught on fire, making the hill a bit unstable. Uh, burn marks reside across the outer lumber of the building, an obvious attempt to set the place on fire. To the southeast of the house, a supply cache, which has also been raided and burnt to the ground. Whatever happened here was not an accident. What'd you guys like to do? Careful, folks. It's like there's still danger afoot. Can it's... I, like, fly up and uh, take a look around? Sure. Be careful. It's a bad omen for this much trouble to be afoot. Uh, give me a perception check. Uh, 
so from from up above uh you can make out the the city was recently hit uh what looks like uh probably a pirate attack more than likely but you're really not 100 percent for certain uh at this time though it, everything seems okay i mean you if you glance way far out to the east you can make somebody standing out near the front of the uh Paragers manor over here though What's this building right in front of us? Uh, that is the uh, the general store. Uh, there's real, but at the at this time, because of all the fires and everything, nobody is currently manning the general store. They're out trying to help put out some of the fires and scrambling to reorganize a bit. Oh, so the fires are recent, and there are people still here. Yes. Okay. Uh, I'm probably gonna, um. Try to find the nearest person. Okay. Uh, your nearest person will be the commoner standing right over here. Where is over here? I ping the map, so if you look, you'll see a blue circle uh, that yes. pops up. Uh, um, so... So you approach the the commoner, and the commoner is a, a bit frantic and looking around and not really sure what to do right now. Uh, takes notice of you as you approach. What's happened here? Uh, pirates. Uh, it happened yesterday. They they swarm they swarm the island and they. They took everything they could. They took all of our food and all of our weapons. We have nothing to defend ourselves with. Oh, that's really unfortunate. Yeah, yes, um, it is. I'll probably try to look for the nearest bucket, I guess, and help start putting out fires if they're still burning. Uh, yeah, most most of the fires are just smolders now, still giving off uh, puffs of smoke. It's it's not anything that, you know, at this time, they're just trying to save whatever's left. They're not, you know, they're oh, expecting like more. Flames. Exactly. Okay. They're, they're expecting other attacks. They're, you know, they're just trying to hold on to what's remaining. Did my note tell me to go see anyone in specifics? Uh, no, you... Uh, you are just kind of guessing that you should probably talk to an alliance leader of some sort. Do I know who lives in that giant house on the hill? Uh, you do. That is the Paragers Manor. Is uh, Lord Paragers around? Uh, yes, I, I think he's he should be in his manor right up the hill if you want to speak to him. Uh, I, I don't think he would turn people away right now if you're willing to help. Well, I don't know about what we can do for the, this uh, sad state of your village, but we may be able to help you in the larger scheme of things with the Storm King. Yes, I would like to speak with him. Yeah. Uh, and with that, um, if uh, since uh, Lorgus is standing on top of the house. Uh, give me a perception check, please. <laughs> Boy, Featherhead, what are you doing? He notices absolutely nothing. He looks around and <laughs> his doesn't even really recognize that even the building that he stands on is a little warmer than it possibly should have been. Uh, he's just kind of hanging out. Notices nothing else. Okay, can I um, start heading towards the manor? Sure. Actually, I'm sorry. Can I? Um, the red brick building is that special? Uh, n no. Is the so the buildings that don't look like they're smolders are 
buildings that are still fully intact. Everything okay. else is kind of burnt and charred and all of that stuff. Yeah, the one that Lorgus is standing on right now. Correct. That's, cor that's intact? Yes. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm just, I just want to head to the, head to the mansion. Okay. Uh, as you get closer, uh, start making your way over there, you notice uh, a man standing directly out in front of the manor itself. And as you approach, he looks a little strangely at Lorgas, who's on top of yet another building, and then kind of grins and excitedly says, Ah, well met, travelers. I see you've met the Ebon Sea. It's quite dangerous out there. You should try going around the islands next time. No, we're actually here for the islands, sir. Ah. Are you Lord Paradris? Yes, yes, I am Lord Paradris, and what brings you here? You seem awfully calm for your village being destroyed. Ah, uh, well, ten years of attacks from pirates make me calm. I have to keep my people from losing their minds out here. And how many times has this occurred? Well, for ten years since my father, Baron Paradris, attacked the cove... Pirates have made their way to and from here. Oh, usually it's nothing. They stop by the island and come to arrest the citizens, maybe occasionally stealing things, but this is new. Whatever this is, these attacks are far worse than what they have ever been. Lack of supplies and ships and even fighters. To be completely honest, we're unable to stop the attacks. If the numbers of these attacks keep increasing... They're going to wipe Rainhaven off the face of, the, of uh, this this earth here. Was anyone killed in this specific attack? Uh, no, I don't believe so. Uh, all of my people are okay. And the citizens, they, they generally know what to do in these situations. Do you know where the pirates are coming from? Ah, uh, yes. They are definitely coming from uh, Crow's Nest Cove. That's uh, Clycare Island, home of the Empire. And the Empire lets these pirates just run amok? Uh, that these, doesn't surprise me. These pirates do as they please. Though, I have my suspicions about them. What may they be? Can I make an insight check? Sure. So from, from what you can tell, uh, he's genuinely concerned. Like, he has a feeling that uh, he believes the Empire is behind this. He believes there's something else going on, but he can't quite place it. Uh, the attacks, because they're different now, they're not the same attacks that they were getting before, where people were just getting harassed and things were getting stolen. Now houses are being burnt and things like that this is a far greater danger to him and he recognizes that they may have a little influence right now okay sir um lord Paradise, what we, we are here on behalf of the alliance we wish to assist you uh as you say that um, uh, from the, coming from the dock, um, uh, a bell can be heard, pretty large bell, almost like a, a warning bell, um, uh, sound of a few villagers rushing away and hiding in their houses can be heard off in the distance. And as you look out into the Ebon Sea, you can see that a couple of large ships have approached, um, uh, finding somehow a safe way to get through the sea and dock next to each other. Lord, are those the pirates back again? Yes, yes, they're back again. And hopefully it's not as many as the last time. Look, I know we just met each other and I'm certain that this is the last thing you want, but please 
You need to stop their attacks. And as he says this, uh, over by the docks, kind of where you came in from, a group of pirates have shown up and are immediately going building to building and terrorizing the citizens. I'll uh, turn to my compatriots and I'll draw my sword from its shield, sheath and I'll say, what do you guys say? About time somebody fought back? Most certainly. Yeah, definitely fellas, somebody. These fellows look horribly understaffed. Let's get to it. And with that, I need you to click on your character, your character token, and then give me a initiative roll, please. If you click your character first, it will automatically load it. But I can... Oh, he meant after. destiny. We're, we're the ones fighting now. Oh, yes. Um, do I press the blue one? The blue one? Oh, never mind. Oh. Uh, so click on... So if you select your character token on the map, and then on your character sheet, just click where it says initiative, and it'll roll for you. Also, I think it's... Um, I noticed this uh, the last time I played a, a game on roll 20. Um... For some reason, the sheets automatically roll everything with advantage. Yes. So you have to turn that off. You can find a way to turn that off. I don't want it turned off. We want, you want to always roll with advantage? You're always going to roll, and we're always going to use the left uh, result uh, unless you are actually doing advantage-disadvantage. That way it always gets rolled, and we okay. don't accidentally forget. Awesome. Just makes it a little easier for everybody. All right, give me just um, a second. I got to... Love Can I uh, shout to uh, Lord Perdris? Lord, I suggest you get into your house for the rest of it. This could get messy. Yes, yes, I completely agree. I will make haste. And he will disappear into his building. And let me get my initiative rolls here. All right, and with that, Skitarnet, you are up first. Okay, um, I want to unsheathe my rapier. Okay. And, um, well, I can only really move, so I'll start heading towards the the action is all right uh the square should be five foot squares uh you can use your action to dash and move 60 if you would like yes i will start sprinting can i move to actually as if it were the same yes okay and Thus ends my turn. Okay. Let me get some different music going here for you guys, too. Uh, this pirate uh, up here is going to come your direction, uh, seeing that there's a few houses over here that haven't been touched yet. Well, I feel bad for the pirate that rolled two. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Lorgas, you were up. I uh, kick to the sky as a Because I have a, a flying movement of 50 feet, can I move 50 feet as if, like... Is that a thing that I can do? Yes. Okay, cool. Oh, what the hell? Does dashing work with flying as well? Mm, no, I think... Well, it might work with... with flying i'm not really sure um for the dash just replace double move from correct the additions. yeah i believe so okay so wait can so i dash you, yes you yeah. you can dash and use that as your action to get closer but with my dash i'll land on top of the rooftop 
Of course you do. Hey, I have an affinity for height. All right. Is there anything else? Uh, no, that all. That's okay. All. Uh, Kaisis, you are up. Kaisis. He yeah, might man. be muted. Okay, he's just figuring out so, what he's doing. So I'll move 60 feet. Okay. And uh, I'll use a free action to call out to the pirates. And I'll say, Hey, you cowards. Pick on somebody that can fight back. And I'll kind of like bang my sword against my shield to get their attention. All right. And with that, you see the uh, two closest uh, pirates to you have quickly gotten, uh, you've quickly gotten their attention and they are going to make their way towards you. Uh, with that, uh, was there anything else? That's it. All right. Uh, with that, do you do the ping, like the circle? uh, left click and hold. Uh, there you go. Thank you. Uh, got another pirate that's going to make his way over here, and in his turn, uh, the pirate that is actually with this commoner here is actually going to move straight for you guys. Um, he is, let's see, he can't quite reach any of you yet, but he's going to get as close as possible and stop right here. That leaves Pandora, you're up next. All right, I'm going to move up behind uh, Kaisis then. And I'm going to tap him on the shoulder and be like, hey, try not to die. <laughs> All right. And you're moving right up beside him? Yep. Yeah, right there. All right. So I have should... Would I be able to see... Or is it kind of weird line of sight angles still? Uh, no, you should be able to see him. He just came around the corner of that building and is heading towards you guys. Uh, All right. Any of them see me? Since I'm behind a couple buildings. No, currently you are not seen. So the best way to decide if you can see anybody is to put your marker and see if there's anything blocking the building or blocking your line of sight. Uh, this one I'm giving it to you guys just because it's just on that corner there so it yeah that was what i wanted to make sure because yep. it's like right there yep exactly all right so she's gonna she's gonna tap him and just be like uh just just watch out for a second here hold on and she's gonna peek around him and then take the take a shot okay uh give me your damage roll oh yep. yeah there you 20 go. definitely hits okay and with that uh as you fire off your crossbow, immediately this guy's rushing, trying to get to you, and is not being cautious whatsoever. Because he does, it, the crossbow bolt literally pierces... Oh, Eldritch, Eldritch Blast. Oh, Eldritch Blast? Okay, sorry. Uh, yeah, the she's, Eldritch, she's shooting magic. <laughs> gotcha. The Eldritch Blast uh, hits him dead in the chest and just knocks the breath out of him, almost like he was clotheslined, and he drops immediately to the ground, and he is dead. I whisper, like, so that they can't hear me, but I'm certainly better than the, with the bird. <laughs> oh, well, uh, I wasn't aiming to you know, do that, but all right, good, good, yes, great. All right, uh, anything else? Uh, no, we are done. All right, uh, with that, we're going to have a couple of pirates that are also going to start making their way towards you guys here. Um, which leaves us back to Skatarna. Alright, I will dash again. Okay. Um, do I have to make a stealth check? 
Or right. can I, can I uh, be hidden well enough because I'm, they can't really see me? You're, you're currently well hidden, uh, and you're not really far enough that they would pay mind to you anyways because there is a giant bird on top of a building that will have their attention. So I'm going to run uh, over to... Can, um, if I run, it's showing the line. Okay, so I have to click here and then right, uh, hit space on... Yep, so you hit your st your space bar to start your movement, and then every stop, just click and drag, don't release. But every stop, make sure you hit the space bar again, and it, whenever you release, okay. it's done. Uh, Alright, so I'm going to... Right here. Okay. And still stay hidden. Alright. Anything else? Uh... That's all. Okay. Uh, the one to the north here is continuing to make his movement here. So he's going to, again, kind of rush his way over here, get as close as he can after feeling a bit provoked by Kaisis here. Uh, Largus, you are up. So I will dive down to meet the attacker mm -hmm. and attack him with my Yukawa. Okay. Give me a attack roll. Your what? His Yukawa. I have no idea if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Yes, you are. Yukawa. Uh, 12 What's does hit. Yikawa? It is a chained uh, like a spear on a chain kind of the best way I can kind of describe it. Oh, damn. Yeah. Oh, cool. Okay. Yeah, I, uh, the spelling helps so I could look it up. Yeah. That's an awesome looking weapon. Yeah. Uh, give me a damage roll. So click on where it says Yokawa right there in your roll, and it will give me a damage roll. All right. Uh, so are you just doing a melee attack with this? Yeah. Okay, uh, so as you fly down, he obviously is caught off guard, not even paying attention to you because he is now giving chase to Kaisis. Uh, kind of surprises him a bit, and as you land, you take this Yokawa and literally jab it into his shoulder, and he pushes back and kind of falls back on the, the commoner directly behind him and kind of loses his balance and falls over and is dead. And with this, I'll uh, uh, fly back onto the roof. Okay. We can ask pirate. Yes, this is this is your training simulator. Kaisis, you are up. All right, I'm gonna move um, thirty feet this way. Okay. I guess I should just keep dashing. I, I gotta get as close as possible. Mm -hmm. I'll come to this. Um, like choke point right here. Okay. And anything That's else? It. All right. Uh, let's see. Pirate. That uses that uses my my standard action, right? Like I can't. Correct. Yeah. The cantrip or anything. Yeah. Correct. Uh, with that, this uh, this pirate's going to make his way around here. Same thing is going to try to sneak up on. Uh, Kaisis doesn't see Lorgas up top, uh, so he's c trying to sneak his way around the building here. This one is dead. Pandora, you are up. She'll peek around the corner and see him coming. She's going to fire off another Eldritch Blast. Okay. Same thing, it hits again. All right, uh, that is at this one back here. Which one are you aiming? That one over there? Okay, uh, so as you hit him, um, he stumbles back a bit and looks up at you and kind of snarls a bit. He's angry, he's hurting. You could tell, though, he's going to be coming right for you. Ah, oh, no, it wasn't me. It was uh, 
that one over there. And she points, uh, probably not even in any particular direction. She's going to point over here. Give me a deception check. That's marvelous. Oh, yeah. He, he immediately turns and looks over by the tree and kind of distracted a bit. Not really sure where he's going to go. Uh, he's... Can, can I shout in Thieves' Cant uh, over here? Uh, because they, they speak, they're pirates. So they, they are pirates and they do speak Thieves' Cant. So with that, he'll turn his attention once was towards the tree. Now turns his attention over here towards you. Uh, but unfortunately, it's not his turn, so he can't do anything. Uh, Pandora, is there anything else? Uh, no, we're done. All right. Uh, this pirate continuing to move forward. Let's see where he can get here. Um, so we're looking at... You can get close, uh, but not close enough. Unfortunately, he doesn't have uh, anything he can really hit you with. Nope, he is all melee, so he is going to sit here and wait his turn. Uh, da -da -da. Good boy. Wait in line. This one here is charging in beside him. Going to use his action to get up there. Sky Tarneth, you are up. Okay. Let's see. Can I, um, with a, a dagger, uh, try and throw it at the uh, one that was just hit with the Eldritch Blast. Mm -hmm. And not not to kill him. To try and pin him to either the house right next to him or the tree or the floor. I don't want to kill him. Uh, you can try, but uh, just fair warning, a good hit will kill him. Okay. Uh, I, I meant, like, to aim for his clothing. Right. But, but if I, like, actually hit if, him. If you, if you miss what you're going for, it will end up hitting him. Okay. Uh, well, let's try. There's still two others. Yep. So, okay. Okay, so you are able... How are you trying to keep him from going forward? Um, I guess, like... Throw the dagger and try and pin like his his cloak or whatever he's wearing mm -hmm. um, to the house. Like, okay. That lower gets his off. Okay. Uh, so yeah, you throw the the dagger and it goes right through his vest that he's wearing and it pins him up against the the house and he grabs for his dagger and quickly tries to pull it out but obviously isn't able to get it out right now. Uh, is there anything else? Yes, um, I shout to Lorgus. Keep that one there. Of course. And that is all. Should I mark off one dagger less? Uh, you can, but if you plan to pick him up, you'll just be adding it back. So just yeah. keep just keep track in your head how many you have. All right. Uh, Lorgus, you're up. So I'll dive down to that uh, hold on I'll dive down to this guy and uh, stab him with my Yukua okay I, I face palm he went to the other one wait what I was pointing at the one that's pinned to the house so yeah, I know. Keep, keep, okay. He, yeah, I know. I'm gonna stab the guy north of that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, what? eleven does hit and five damage. One second. Da -da -da.
All right, so as you stab him with this, uh, this dagger, it immediately does a considerable uh, amount of damage and pain to him. And he's, he, he wasn't facing you, so as you stab him, you're, you get him right in the back, and it leaves a nice gash across his back, but unfortunately he's still standing. Anything else? Backstab. Lorgus. Gonna hit him. Do you have multi attack? What's multi attack? You cannot. So you've already used your action. So unless yeah. unless you can use your talons on a bonus, then you yeah, cannot attack. I can attack. use it on a bonus because I'm a monk. Okay. These martial arts. Okay. Uh, so, uh, ten does not hit, unfortunately. Uh, so as you reach out with your talons, you go to swipe at him, and the the attack with the the Yikawa across his back immediately caught his attention. And as he was turning around to face you, you went to swipe with your talons and missed a little bit to his right. Uh, so he's still there, now angered at you because you have hit him. Anything else? I'll fly back onto the house so you can't hit me. Uh, that will provoke an opportunity of attack. Opportunity. Yep, because you have two right beside you. Ah. Uh, let's see. Does a 19 hit? Uh, yes. Okay, you will take four slashing damage. Uh, so as you are heading... Back up to the top of the house, the one that you had attacked uh, with your Yikawa immediately grabs for a scimitar and goes to swipe at you and kind of cleaves your arm as you go back up towards the top and kind of leaves a, a nice little gash in it. But otherwise, you're still okay. The second one goes to do the same thing, but pulls out his dagger instead. Does a 12 hit? No, it does not. All right. So he... Pulls out his dagger, perhaps not his best weapon, but he reaches for his dagger and tries to swipe at you as you go back up to the roof. But he was a little bit delayed because he wasn't paying full attention to you and you're able to get back up to the roof after that. Is there anything else? That will be all. All right. Kaisis, you are up. I'll step forward and stab the guy that... Just got stabbed by that nickel one thing. Stabby, stabby. Do it. Unfortunately, a seven does not hit. So as you bring your short sword around and you go to, to jab at him, uh, it perhaps just reflexes hearing you walk behind him, hearing you climb over the body behind him. He kind of instinctually turns around, and as he's turning around, you go for your swipe, and he's quick enough that he could take his scimitar and bat your sword away. Uh, is there anything else? That'll do it. All right. Uh, and with that, uh, we have our one to the south down here, who is uh, tied up. I'm going to see if he can break free of this. Uh, let's see. How would I do this? I'm gonna roll a strength check. Nope, he is stuck right where he's at. He's unable to pull the dagger out of his shirt or his vest. It's keeping him pinned up against this wall, getting a little panicked and not very happy that he's stuck against that wall. Um, he's going to, tr he has to break the 13 that you had to get him there. So just so you're aware of how, yeah. Uh, Pandora, you are up next. All right, Pandora's going to run around the side. She's going to stop here. Uh, hey, boss, we're doing pretty good, right? Yeah, yeah I think so. And then, don't uh, kill him. Oh, him? No, don't worry. I'm, I'm going to help uh, Kaisis, and she's going to fire off another bolt down to try and hit the top one. All right. Oh, yeah. 21 hits give me that damage oh but the, oh, <laughs> the damage but, oh so work, because oh. 
because you're trying to thread the needle here, uh, you're able to make purchase with the attack and you're able to actually hit him. Uh, but it's kind of like a glancing blow. It just nicks off of his shoulder and he kind of turns and is like looking around trying to figure out where this is coming from. Uh, and as this is going on, of course, as the bolt comes flying by Kaisis, Kaisis has to like react and kind of pull back a little bit to keep from getting hit by it. Watch your head. Like, is there anything else? Our own, eh? Oh, of course. I would never think to hit him. Hey. Anything else? Uh, nope, we're all done. All right. Uh, with that, uh, our hurt pirate friend right here is going to immediately turn his attention back to uh, Kaisis and is going to make two attacks with his scimitar. Does an 11 hit? No. All right. And with his second, does an 18 hit? Kaisis? Uh, yeah. Yes? Okay. So um, he, he flips back around, and because you have now gotten his attention trying to attack him, uh, he takes a scimitar and goes to swipe at you, and as he comes down, his first one's a little bit wide and comes down a little too quick, kind of like a, a, his reaction to you swiping at him. Wasn't really sure-footed whenever he went for the swipe, but then as he recoils with it, he comes back and is able to get a good swipe against you, uh, hitting you for four damage. The one directly to his north, however, is also going to try to attack. Uh, going to use his daggers to hit you. There's a 13 hit. And once again, going for the melee. Does a 9, obviously does not hit. So both of his daggers, obviously he's not the best swordsman because he's trying to fight you with daggers he's jabbing at you and you're just able to kind of knock his hand away and keep him from hitting you both times uh right (laughs) Uh, and with that we are back to sky all right i want to uh sheathe my rapier and just walk up to this guy nonchalantly just punch him right in his lights all righty Can I make a strength check? You like, will... Not to kill. You will make an unarmed strike attack. Okay, that is... One, one damage plus strength mod, right? Uh, yes. Alright, that's one. So you're plus... Yeah, so roll your... No, roll your d20 plus your strength mod. Okay. And then your damage will be determined... Let me pull it up. I can't remember what it is. It's something low. Uh, 12 does hit. Um, So your unarmed attack will be... Are you looking for the damage number here? Uh, Yeah, your damage is whatever your strength is. My strength modifier? Yes. Zero. Okay. So yeah, yeah. Y- you're able to hit him and incapacitate him, uh, leaving him stay down. down on the ground there. Anything else? Um, no, that, that's all. Just to make sure he's fully unconscious. Yep, he is out like a light. Perfect. All right, one sec. All right, uh, Oregus, you are up next. Just a quick question. If I were to come here, would I be able to reach him? To where? Uh, to the reach. edge? Yeah. Yeah, your, your Yikawa has a range of like, I think it's 10 or 15 feet. I can't remember what it is. Maybe 20. So you could do it as a ranged attack. It's the same roll. Uh, if it's ranged, does that mean I throw it? Yes, but it not it attached to a chain? Okay. 
So you're throwing it and you'll be able to pull it back to you. Right. Oh wait, what is that? Nope, it is not attached to a chain. It is just like a very long spear. Not like Link's hook shot. All right, if that's the case, then I'll fly down here and attack this guy. Okay. Oh yeah, 20 hits. All right. Tell me how you killed oh. this guy. Uh diving down upon him, I jab my sword into his chest. As he's flaying around trying to pull it out, I take a second to bow down. Think we lost you there. Oh. He just bows down. Oh, you just bow down? Okay. Bow down. And okay. Pull out the I thought there was more to it. Sorry. Um, all right. So, yeah, he immediately drops to the ground, the, the Yakawad, doing enough damage that he just, it, he was done as soon as it hit him. Uh, anything else? Um, I will fly over to here and make, with a bonus action, uh, hit the last guy. Okay. This guy. Oh yeah, you hit him all right. Okay. Uh, so you use your talons to attack him. Uh, doing a good chunk of damage to him. Uh, you can tell he's pretty badly wounded and doesn't look like he's gonna be around much longer. If I uh, try and move away now, would it provoke an opportunity attack? Yes, it would. Anytime that you leave within melee range of anybody, within a five-foot square, or the square next to them, so any of the squares surrounding him, uh, it will provoke an opportunity of attack. Unless you take the disengage action as your action. Attack. Correct, but since you've already used your action, you can't do so. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, then that's that. All right. Uh, let's see, that pirate, he is unconscious. I think it's my turn, I think Ixon is getting me. Did I? Yes, yeah, I did, I... sorry about that, yep, it went okay. one too many. Alright, go um, for it. I'll step over this pirate body, um, that just got gored in front of me. If I'm standing here, um, do I get... Is he flanked? Do I get an uh, advantage on my roll? No, unfortunately, that is not a thing in 5e. Oh. Well, darn. Um, I'll attack him in here. Mm -hmm. Give me the damage. Or give me the roll. Oh, yeah, you hit him. All right. And with that, tell me how you take this guy out. Uh, I'll sort of like hit him with my shield, push him back a little bit, and um, sort of with that momentum, I'll just drive my sword right into his heart, pull it out. I'm not going to be as ceremonious as the monk. I'll push him to the ground. <laughs> Pirates have no honor in my eyes. All right. And Excuse you. There is a pirate in our midst. All right. Uh, this guy... Let's see if I can get him to wake up here. What was, do you remember what your role was on that? Yeah, I don't, uh, I don't see it. Where is it at? For your melee attack. Uh, what was your, yeah, what was your two hit on that? Oh, um. 12. Uh, yeah, so he's still out cold. Sorry, I didn't realize we were talking about anything. Oh, that's okay. Uh, Pandora, you are up. Didn't we defeat everyone? Yes, but this guy is still alive, technically. Oh, well. Uh... What, uh, what, do you, what do you think we should do with him? He's... Uh, Let's he's... bring him to the Lord. Ah, yes, good idea. That's That's a much better idea than what I was thinking. What are you thinking? 
oh, oh, nothing. Don't worry about it. I think your idea is best. And with that, uh, coming from back over by the hill, uh, you can hear uh, Saren Paradris is came back out of his building and is coming towards you guys. Uh, kind of interested to see what you guys have been up to. One sec. Uh, I have um, I have rope. Can I use it to tie this guy up? Sure, you can. Okay. You can tie him up. Give me a sleight of hand check. Oh yeah, so you you tie him up, uh, no issues. He's unconscious, so he doesn't try to fight back or anything like that. Um, That's what you call a knot. At least I'm like a sailor. So as as this is going on, Saren walks up a little befuddled by what's going on and kind of looks at you and walks up beside Pandora and is like, what are you doing? Ah! Oh, uh, nothing. They were tying him up. And she's going to just... Uh, I see. And what do you plan to do with him now? Make an example out of him. Or whatever the captain wants to do, I think, is best. Oh, uh, no, I just want to find out where he comes from. Maybe he could be of use to you. Oh. For all this trouble they've caused, we could find a use for him. Yes, do you have any questions for him? Well, now would, uh, when he wakes up, would it be a nice time to ask? Well, we could ask him questions, but I'll be real honest, I don't even care. I want them, I want to get rid of them, and I think there's still more coming, so we best either get rid of him or do something about the rest of the pirates on that ship. Oh, yes, uh, there are more. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> uh, well, pardon the gore in the square. I don't know if we are equipped to take on... How many ships are there? Two. Two ships. Uh... But do you have any armaments? Any any ships here that we could use? Any No, but mounted weapons. You could always we, we could we could disguise ourselves as the pirates. There there is always the option of trying to sneak onto the ship. Get the surprise element in your favor. That's not a bad idea. Although if... How are we going to disguise Featherhead and his wings here? Perhaps. Oh, he could just fly above. He could be the captain's bird. Perhaps you may not need to. My shoulder. I mean, you guys aren't very big individuals. Don't you think maybe you could take the boat out to the out to the, the sea and climb up the, the anchor? Maybe slide in through the anchor port. Well, if burn we, the boat uh, down. We take uh, Dusty's idea. Uh, we may not have need for that. We could just they they can't see what happened here. We could take their outfits, take their boat, come back. Maybe some with some fake riches or something. I'm afraid yeah. I won't make a very convincing pirate. Well, I'm afraid I cannot anything. either. Well, I, we only need to convince them long enough to get on the ship. Afterwards, you can go back to being yourself. Yes, yes, I think yes, this perhaps. one... I, perhaps. I think this one has a, a brilliant idea. Yes, why don't you Why don't you guys work together? Figure out how you're going to do this. If there's anything I can give you, anything at all, to help you, please let me know. Well, maybe you could take this one. I gesture to the uh, unconscious pirate. Some cellar or basement. Where you can't escape. Uh, Although, yes. Uh, yeah. did, did the town have any any flammable flammable liquids or anything with them? Uh, if if you need, uh, we can go to the general store. I can easily get you guys a, a flask or two of oil, but supplies are pretty scarce here. Oh, just enough to get it going. Yes, yes, we can definitely do that. And I know supplies are scarce, but do you have any spare gold or some treasure we could use uh, to show that we actually have things for the captain up there? Uh, we promise to return it. Well, Smith, return us, yes. Well, 
I can I can give you I can give you a small sack of gold, but I'm gonna ask that you return it. We don't have much here, and the gold that we do have, we need for the supply ships to come through. Yes, yes, we have it back, and whatever we may find on that ship that we don't want. Okay, but, and uh, Kaisis, give me a perception ch or an investigation check, actually. As as he's doing this, uh, Saren reaches to his pouch and slowly walks over to Skytharneth and hands him a, a pouch somewhat full of gold. Um, about 70 pieces. You could tell, though, he's counting every piece of gold. He knows exactly how much money they have because they don't have a lot here. I don't sort of just wait in my hand. This should do fine for now. Although, we could use... Uh, do you have any empty chest? Uh, yes. Uh, why, actually, why don't you check the general store, which is the first building you came to? Uh, check there. Let, let, uh, one sec. Uh, let Idas know that, uh, you need, uh, you need supplies. You need a, a chest to take over there so that you I can give them, yes, I-D-E-S, uh, something so you can convince the pirates that you're bringing them some money maybe to pay them off i'm not sure what your idea is but whatever it is you please do so all right so um as i'm headed over can i go to one of the bodies that isn't so mangled and um yep. try and like uh, this guy's nice to take their clothes sure uh and you're, you're able to do the same yeah. you're I'll able to take... To pull the the clothing off with no issue. Uh, obviously, it's not too big of a, a trouble because they're all dead. Uh, Kaisis, be while this was going on, you were kind of searching this body here, this asleep body, and really, there's nothing on him to be found. He's kind of bare bones, just has his swords, and that's about it. I'll take uh, the cloak that he's wearing, just to okay. at least to drape over myself, to maybe at least mask myself until we get close enough. Um, and Alrighty. maybe deliver him a a weak but firm kick to the back to sort of push him towards uh, uh, Lord Peret Peredris here. Alrighty. And I'll walk away. Alright, and with that, uh, Peredris is going to obviously summon over one of the commoners who's going to take the guy back to his keep. Uh, what is your plan of attack for this? Well, so uh, first I say, uh, Featherhead, you won't be able to disguise yourself that well. Yes. Can you fly um, high enough that you are out of sight? And when you call, will you be there? I believe uh, I can. My feathers are colored to hide myself from onlookers from below. Okay, the... Maybe you could what? fit in the chest. No, I have a plan for uh, the chest. Um, the... Code word. What should, how should we call you? Anything. Just, just caw really loud. Okay, in your native tongue, I will say caw! <laughs> All right, so. Uh, I'm not sure whether or not to be offended or not. It was. Uh, probably. So, the general. Can I head over to the general store? Sure. Uh, you go to the general store, you speak to Idis, who uh, just hands you, She, as you're telling, uh, telling her the plight of everything that's going on, she quickly scrambles and goes back to the, the, the back room of the uh, general store. You can hear just a bunch of coins and junk rattling around. And then suddenly everything crashes. And you see her come out and she's like, I, I'm sorry. All I have is this one chest. I'll yeah, give it to you, do. but I, I need it back, please. Uh, yes, of course. We don't need an, any money for it. Just an empty chest. Yeah. And the oil. Don't forget about the oil. Uh, is Dusty here wants some what, fish oil or something? No, no, no. no. Flammable. Flammable. Flammable oil, yes. Yeah. Okay. And uh, she... Looks a little concerned, considering all the fires and everything that's going on around here. And Tell her it's to burn the pirate ship. It's to burn the pirate 
ship. Not you guys. Don't worry. Suddenly she gets. She understands. She's like, "Oh yes, yes. Hold, hold on, just a second. And she rushes back to the back room again. Again, you hear things clanking and falling around. She's kind of scrambling to find stuff, and she comes back and gives you two flasks of oil. Perfect. And I give them to Pandora. Um, and so I'll tuck those away. With the chest, um, can I take it outside and just take dirt from anywhere and just fill it almost all the way with dirt? Yep. Um, so, and then after that, uh, put the 70 gold pieces on top of the dirt so it looks like they're, it's overflowing with gold. Okay. So it's a thin layer of gold on top, but not, but in actuality it's dirt. Okay, yeah. Uh, so you, you bring this chest outside. Fortunately, you're on a beach, so it's easy to kind of grab some sand off of the beach here, and you kind of pile it all in together, and uh, as you get it at least halfway full, you start scattering gold coins on top of it, the, the 70 gold coins that Paradris gave you. Um, scatter it all around and just kind of make sure that it looks full. Uh, and as you're doing this, you you decide... Maybe it's a good idea you take a, a little bit of water and pour it down so it kind of packs that sand in and it doesn't move as much. Uh, I, I don't really like sand. Yeah, it's coarse and it gets everywhere. Uh, so yeah, uh, you're able to get that prepared. Uh, what else would you like to do? Um, so I'm disguised. I have the chest full of gold sand, sand gold, and... Um, Oh, did I get my dagger back from the body? Uh, you have not. Oh, okay, so I'll go do that. Alright. So you rush back over and... Uh, you see they're still kind of here. Uh, Paradis is talking to the commoner. You can see the, the dagger still piercing through the, the vest of the, the pirate. Uh, though not attached to the building anymore, obviously. I'll take that. Paradris kind of grins and says, Have you come up with a plan yet? Verily. You'll, see, you'll know it when you see it, when you'll see a large smoking ship. Uh, do, do you think they may have supplies or anything that we could maybe use here? Could be handy. If you see anything of note before we burn it, we will take it. Ah, excellent, excellent. All right, well... Hurry off. We don't want the pirates to get too antsy waiting on their boat. Alright, so I'll just put the chest with the disguise. Um, okay. I'll head to one of their rowboats. Alright, uh, you have the one small rowboat here. Everybody should be able to fit in that. It wouldn't be a problem. I'm going to put you guys together here so I can click. Oh, don't move yourself. Uh, so I can copy you and stop moving yourself. <laughs> I was like, no, stop it. Okay, uh, I have you guys. Um, how are you approaching this on your well, I, I saying, paddle uh, boat? Lorgus isn't actually on the boat. He's up up above in the clouds. Yes. Um, and if any, anyone else, please speak up. Uh, if they have anything to say. But I, I would have the chest with either me or Pandora. In the front, the rowboat. Kaisis in the very back because he's just wearing a cloak. And um, he could be helping row. Yeah. I'm going to make sure that the hood is like pulled up over my face as best I can. And uh, I want to also like take a very small piece of cloth and tear it. And just like okay. tie it around one of my arrowheads. Do you try and sound like a pirate? <laughs> uh, yeah. Well... <laughs> I'll do my best, uh, but I want to put some uh, cloth around one arrowhead in case we need to light that fire from a distance. Okay. Oh, likewise. Um, I'll do that. Second. We'll, we'll need to have a good story for them once we get closer. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty good at talking if need be, but uh, you, you're a ship captain already, so... Just uh, tell them I'm a mute and I had my tongue cut out. Okay. All right. So. Here's someone who's a mute. Yeah, let's let's do this. So you are. You see the boats in the northwest there. Uh, how would you like to actually approach them? Because let 
what's possibly going to happen is you're going to find boats full of pirates here. And if you're coming straight in and you're going to try to hail them and have them pull you up, uh, may require a little bit of extra work. Well, I mean, they'll see us coming, right? Yeah, I mean, we can't really stealth Shit. in a boat with one bay. No, but they're, all their attention is preparing on, or all their attention right now is towards preparing for uh, the actual uh, uh, attack. So they're preparing to send more boats over to the island. Okay. Uh, this was just like a scouting party? Yes. Oh, um, well, maybe... Res PWG, thank you for the follow, man. Very oh, much appreciate here's it. Here's an idea. Um, L Lorgus. Yes? Before you fly off, can you carry one of their bodies, one of the pirates' bodies? Uh, yeah. Maybe mess up the face a bit. It's not really look like them. And, okay. Uh, maybe he could. Maybe he could firebomb the sails. Uh, no, no, not quite yet. But that. that is good. Okay, yes. Give him one of the oil. You, you feel good about dropping uh, some oil onto them? Yes. All right. Pandora's going to hand over an oil flask. Um. So uh, scratch that with the body, and with the oil. Uh, I, I think we should just head head on straight there. I make a pretty convincing pirate, being that I Technically. almost won. Yeah, you when I, when you on. give the signal, I'll drop the oil into the uh, onto the sails. Right. Right on. Godspeed, featherhead. Caw. Okay. Uh... And with that, so you guys are going to approach the southernmost boat to try to hail them to board? Is that correct? Yeah, sounds like it. Go for that. Let's go okay. for it. One second. Uh, one second. Dragging you over there now. So with that, you quickly approach the closest boat on the south. Uh, Lorgus is able to see pretty much everything, while you guys down below can't really see a whole lot, because uh, you're way at the bottom. Uh, Lorgus, on the other hand, sees that there are upwards to almost 15 or 20 pirates on top of the deck here. We really don't know how many are below deck. Uh, but as you roll closer, uh, pirate closest to the edge over here, they've been watching you. They know you're coming and shouts down, Hey, what do you guys want? Oh, is that in Thieves' Cant or Small Yes. Yes, it is in Thieves' Cant? Yes. Uh, so in, back in Thieves' Cant, uh, I guess I'll... Uh... Yeah, we are. We came back. We had some. Uh, we found some treasure right, right, right under their, 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 their general store. They had, they had it buried. But uh, 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 they, we, they had actually some, some fighters there. We, 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 we had to flee. They, they were some big guys, really, really strong. Uh, one second. Deception. Yeah. Uh, going to. Yep, give me a deception check. Versus a... Yeah, you, you were convincing him pretty well. He's he's like, ah, yes, yes, what treasure? How much treasure did you find? Check it out. I open up the chest. Uh... Lorigus, give me a stealth check because you are trying to not be seen by these guys. 
Gotta do it all sneaky beaky like. Mm hmm. Really beaky. Oh yeah. So it, so far you're you're good. You're able to fly out and about, and they don't see you yet. Um, however, it's gonna get uh, pretty hairy really quick if you guys don't get moving. Uh, so yeah, uh, he sees the treasure chest immediately. He's like, "Yes, yes, yes! Bring it over here! Bring it over here!" And Pull us up. you guys come over this direction. And the boat follows, and he pulls you up onto the deck. And immediately, seeing that there is a drow amongst your midst, and there aren't any drow within this isn't, group. Um, isn't there like the cloak covering her face? Is is she covering her face? Is that oh, what sorry. this is? I, yes, I uh, put on some of their clothing and covering up a bit. Okay. Um. Then give me. Um. Uh, actually. Uh. So as as he. They pull you up here. He's like, "Ah, oh, yes. Let's see the treasure. Let's see the treasure. Give me, give me the count. How much is it?" And I um, oh crap, I didn't think it through. Uh, well, ah, uh, me and Brant are captain first, isn't that the rule? Oh, pirates follow. Captain pick first. Mm. One sec. Oh no, I'm rolling the wrong thing here. Hold on. Should I make another deception? Uh, give me a stealth check, Lorigus. So at about this time, uh, coming from the northern ship, back here in the back, you immediately hear, SPY! The pirate in the back has noticed, <clears throat> has noticed Lorigus and has uh, quickly reached over to grab for a crossbow, which is pretty close. Same with this gentleman here. Uh, give me an initiative roll, guys. Uh, I, I still want, I, I want to uh, put my facade music. What the hell is that thing over there? Okay, give me a deception check. One sec. Oh, my. oh yeah, that's pretty solid deception. Uh, everybody else is scrambling. The guys up top are immediately rushing over. They're they're wanting to get them a piece of bird over here. Uh, uh, you guys, on the other hand, the, the, this pirate down here to the south is trying to uh, pay attention to what's going on over at the side while also talking to you guys as well. Uh, but it's not not holding up too well and he's gonna immediately start running this direction uh, so can I trip him before he gets there I uh, you that provoke opportunity yes you can trip him and I'm like uh, to guys just now overboard all right uh, should that be unarmed yes or... yes an unarmed attack And then everybody go ahead and give me an initiative roll because that's going to initiate combat the moment he gets tripped by this other person. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's what... Oh, look at those terrible initiative rolls. Did you click on your target or your character first? Ah, nice. That's okay, why. I probably didn't trip him. Oh, yeah, no. So you stuck your foot out and you kind of bumped against his boot and as he's rushing by, it hits him and he turns around and he's like, You! What do you think y'all doing? Oh, sorry, sir. You meet me foot. It. Uh, I. I don't know what happened there. Yeah, carry on. Now fix your rolls here based on your first one. Yes, sir. No worries. All right. So there's one. Kaisis with the four. Uh, and um. So is our, is our uh, technically I had just... nine, but I forgot to click on the character. Oh, no, you, right, but your first roll was a four. Wait, I rolled Directly four. above it, yep. It says Kaisis, initiative roll four. That's, that's not Was that from that's the, not me. before? It's, it's Lorigus. I'm Lorigus. Oh, I'm sorry. I was talking to Kaisis. Oh, uh, sorry. It's okay. 
All right. Um, is is our cover blown? Uh, yes. Shit. Oh, should I um change it to nine? Does it matter? Uh, I'll do that. I'll get it for you. And Pandora set. Okay, uh, give me a second to. I'm gonna do just one mass roll for all the pirates. I think. Oh yeah, just one mass roll. It's fine. Yay. <laughs> Ten. Um. All right. Is there a clear captain? Uh, no, not on this level of the boat. Uh, once, once fighting subdues, I can give you some other information. Okay. Uh, well, I guess no time like the present. Uh, ca -ca! uh and upon hearing the signal, I, am I allowed to do that yet? I mean, if you wanted to, it's I'll up to you. I'll pour the oil on the sails. All right, give me a ranged damage attack or a ranged attack, please. Ranged damage. Attack. Ranged damage attack. Just give um, me a uh one d four plus your I think it's dexterity. Or is it? No, what is yours? Yours is strength, right? No, it is dexterity. That's right. Yeah, it's dex. So give me your um, one. How do I do that? So type uh, forward slash R space one D twenty plus whatever your dexterity mod is. So you throw this and it hits the sail, but unfortunately, because it's a sail, it's got a little give to it. And this flask is just just thick enough that it hits the sail and slides down. He poured the oil, not the flask. Did you pour the oil? I thought he was throwing it. I, I thought oh. I poured the oil down. Yeah, I said pour. Oh, okay. Well, then, yeah, you pour the oil down the sail of the boat then. I misunderstood. I believed you were throwing it. Sorry. Uh, that was me. Um, so yeah, uh, which sail? The one on the north or the south? Uh, the south. So the southern boat down here where everybody is at is currently covered in oil. Well, one of the sails. There are many sails on it. And, and I'll scream, uh, Dusty, light it! Or, whose turn is it to start? It yeah, is Pandora's. Yeah, okay. Dusty, light it! Uh, oh, yeah, uh, fire. Uh, we, we would have needed fire for that. Uh, that's force damage, unfortunately. Yes, that is force damage. Uh, I, oh, uh, where was this? Yikes, okay. Never mind. It's all going um, according to plan, boys. Just as we planned. We've got this. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Pandora, you are up. Um, she's she's going to just be like, uh, no, no, I don't have fire. Um, uh, This way. And she just moves back a little bit, and she's going to Eldritch Blast the one right in front of uh, this one Skinderith. here. Yeah. Yeah. That one right there, yeah. Yep. Give me your roll. Oh yeah, it hits. Uh, for two damage because it rolled the bonus for the crit. Uh, so you did yeah. two damage. Uh, so as you do it, uh, couldn't obviously get a good hit on it because uh, Skatarnith is kind of in the way, and as you're going to hit your Eldritch Blast at it, he kind of had you kind of shout out to him move and he quickly turns and it almost hits him and it just barely grazes the uh right shoulder of the pirate directly in front of him doing a little damage but not much Damn it, Pandora. <sighs> uh, just make sure you duck I, I won't hit anyone else besides them not you promise 
Just uh, find find some fire. <laughs> and she's okay. done. All right. Uh, Lorcus, you are up. Um, so I'll fly. Actually, hold on. I'll fly on down to this man who's trying to grab for the crossbow mm -hmm. and uh, attack him with my uh, Yuklua. Okay. Unfortunately, a nine does not hit. So as you're coming down, you kind of get a little hasty with your attack and take the Yikawa forward. And as you're coming to the to the ground, you go to jab at him, and he obviously sees you coming right for him, and he's able to kind of sidestep it a little bit and watch as you land directly beside him. But otherwise, he's unharmed. Um, as a bonus action, I'll uh, follow up with a melee talent strike. Alrighty. 22 definitely hits and seven damage so uh as you uh, as you miss with the yikawa and he kind of gets a little cocky with it as you land is like oh yeah i've got this uh you quickly turn around almost like a, a a roundhouse kick with your talons and you go to swipe across his chest and immediately he just falls completely to the ground unmoving Um, I'll also shout down to, uh, everyone else. See if you can find one of the lighters for the cannons. Those tend to be very flammable. Flammable? Flammable. 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 <laughs> Flaminated? <laughs> flammable. We shall flaminate. Flaminate them. <laughs> All right. Uh, if there's nothing else, then uh, we're going to start with the pirate to the north. He kind of sees uh, Lorgas dropping, and he's going to start taking off that way. Uh, this pirate right here directly in front of uh, Skidarneth is going to attack uh, using his scimitar twice. Um, I, can I use my um, reaction with protection fighting to give him disadvantage when attacking? Of course. Yep. Good, oh, good call. Uh, so with that, does a 14 hit? Let's see. Uh, no, it does not. All right. So uh, kind of distracted by Kaisis jumping in here and using his uh, shield to kind of distract and to knock the, the attack away. Uh, scimitar takes the, or the pirate takes the scimitar and goes to swipe and kind of chips off the corner of the, the shield. Doesn't really do anything to, to hit uh, Skadarneth, but he does have a second attack. There's a 25 hit. Uh, yes, very good. All right, so... Uh, that doesn't have disadvantage as well, just the first one. As far as I know, okay, he yeah, can right. only do that his reaction once. Yes, that's correct. Uh, sorry. All right, so uh, he's going to take that and bring it across and do a considerable amount of damage, uh, nine slashing damage to you. Um, the the first attack really uh, kind of bothered him. He he was upset that the first attack didn't land, and as the second one comes back around, he swipes and uh, obviously lands a, a good shot. Uh, one second. All right. Uh, Does the disadvantage only last for one attack? I believe yeah. so, okay. yes. Unfortunately, I believe it does. So before I can thank I just... I, uh, like, stagger. All right. And with that... Some of the other pirates are going to move in to kind of circle the rest of the party here. Uh, this one can't get up the stairs yet. Uh, I'm going to make him wait. Uh, these guys over here uh, with the uh, crossbow over here, he's going to attempt to make an attack at Lorigus. <sighs> Uh, 
Unfortunately, a two is going to blast wide, so he's gonna grab for the the crossbow. And as he fires it, it's it's big, it's bulky. It takes a lot to, of effort to get it to fire. Uh, kind of gets frustrated with it, bangs his fists on it a little bit because it didn't fire when he wanted. And when he banged his fist, then it fired, and it shot way north of you, nowhere even close. He he's obviously a little bit embarrassed with himself that he just did this. Uh, the other one, job, miscellaneous pirate. Yeah, the other one runs up and sees the large crossbow bolt fly way north, and is just immediately just shakes his head. Just he doesn't know what to think of this. It's just ridiculous that this guy missed this bad. Uh, all the other pirates are kind of waiting because they they're having a little bit of trouble getting anywhere near you guys at the moment. Uh, but with that, let's get darn it, you. Are in a lot of trouble. That I am. Uh, all right, so I'm going to try, uh, I guess I'll pull out my rapier. Um, all right. And just try and impale this guy right in front of me. All righty, do it. Oh yeah, 13 hits. Okay. Give me that damage. Is that sneak attack? Because, um... No. Can I assist this right here within 5 feet? Uh... Mm. Is that one of the rules for mm. sneak attack? One sec. You can deal if you, no, if you have advantage. Yep. Um, you don't need advantage if another enemy of the target is within 5 feet of it. That enemy isn't incapacitated and you don't have disadvantage. So, Kaisis is within five feet. Yes. So, I can get a uh, sneak attack? Uh, sure, I'll give it to you. I mean, you don't technically need it because you rolled a 13 to hit him. But, yeah. He's no, no, he's gonna. I know. He's gonna drop, though. That's what I'm saying. He's He's dead with the five, so you don't technically need oh. the damage. Well, he he they don't have a lot of hit points they die pretty quick all right i won't i won't use the sneak attack on this attack yeah i mean you can tack on tack it on top of it and then give me some flavor as to to why you murdered him so badly no i'm gonna i'm gonna save it because as my <laughs> bonus action i'll use this as the second attack with my dagger and throw it at the other guy and try it okay it's, oh no i can't get sneak attack on that because correct because he's not beside you yes. all right forget it i'm not gonna Give me yeah. some flavor on how you killed this guy. All right, I'll give you some flavor. I, um, <laughs> w so with this uh, gash on my chest, I look down, I look back up with him with fury in my eyes, take out my rapier, and just shove it right through his eye. Oh, nice. All right, so as he drops to the ground, he kind of falls backwards. The pirate directly in front of him kind of catches him because he's falling off the stairs here. Uh, throws him to the side, and you will now be able to get advantage against the one directly behind him. Oh, I get advantage on it. Okay, Give then some I advantage. will do um, a, 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 my bonus attack with my dagger. Mm -hmm. um, so I do that, but I don't get to add my modifier to the damage. Correct. Right. Correct. Okay. All right. Oh yeah, twenty-two definitely hits. Oh, I, sorry, my mic was off. I, <laughs> I do get to add my sneak attack to this, right? Because I have advantage and yes. All right. So I'll take sneak attack and. Oh yeah. Just as soon as as soon as he body falls from his hands as he's holding on to the guy and trying to hold him up, uh, and he kind of lets him drop. And as he lets him drop, he looks up and the dagger just pierces him right in the center of the forehead, and he immediately drops. Awesome. Okay, then I'll just uh, since I can still move, I'll just move back. All right. Uh, anything else? Uh, that is all. I'll, all right. Uh, I guess I'll, guys, take care of uh, others. Like, I'm, I'm still wounded pretty bad. 
Kaisis, you are up. Um, I will move directly in front of my allies here uh, to kind of give them some protection against the people in front of us. Okay. And uh, I'll use my action to cast um, True Strike on myself. And I'll prob I only have I don't have a lot of health left, so I'll uh, use my bonus action to second win to try to top myself off. Alrighty. So give me your D10 plus one. I guess I have to roll that one manually. Correct. Yeah, you can enter it. So you can create uh, an attack or a spell on your uh, character sheet. That's what I do with mine. I just title it second win and I have it so it automatically rolls. So there you go. Uh, add nine health back. You're back to full health. And the pirates around you are kind of a little out of your range, but I'm sure they'll be there soon. Anything else? Uh, nope, I'll just stand here and guard my buddies. Alrighty. Uh, Pandora, you are up. Use some of that. Alright, uh, gonna keep... Uh, keep a lookout on who's closest. Uh, it's actually two people who can get to me. That's not good. Um, she's gonna look at this one here. And she's gonna... Uh, Look him, look him straight in the eyes, and she's gonna, she's gonna just look at him and go, "Hey, kill yourself." And then there's gonna be just like dark, shadowy words whispering with it to him, trying to compel him to do horrible, horrible things. Awesome. Destiny whispers. What is that? Uh, wisdom save. One sec. Oh yeah, he failed big time. He rolled a seven. What is your what's the deck save on it? Like eleven for you, I think. Cyberbullying. <laughs> you know, what is your uh, your spellcaster uh, bonus or proficiency? Think you're muted. Right, because I'm not hitting my push to talk. Sorry. Um, <laughs> the spell DC, the spell DC is 13. 13. It's, uh, Charisma caster ability. Yep. Okay. Uh, so yeah, obviously, it, you you tell him basically to to drop dead, and this guy is like, he starts like losing his mind, and frantically he's he's like searching for everybody and is running up to people and is like just going absolutely insane and ends up just running and. <laughs> Diving right out of the ship. The insanity has gotten to him, and he is dead. That was kind of savage. Hey, you guys Ooh. should you guys should uh, really follow his lead and run. Give me an intimidation check. A little hey. convincing. A little convincing. They they look at you, and after they just watch their buddy dive off the side of the ship, they're kind of a little scared of this little half half drow that's standing on on the top of their ship here. Uh, anything else? All done. Looks like, I, looks like I underestimated you, Dusty. Largus. Yeah, they usually do. Can I stand on the crossbow like this? Oh, yeah. Uh, okay, cool. Is that what you're wanting to do? Yeah. Okay. So I'll come, I'll uh, fly over here mm -hmm. and uh, attack this man. Uh, the one directly in front. Gotcha. Yeah, I'll attack this guy with the Yuklaw. Alrighty. Give me the roll. Oh, yeah, you definitely killed him. They don't even have to roll damage. <laughs> give give me some flavor on this crit, because that's pretty pretty beefy there. Uh, angered at his attempt to strike me down from the sky, I fly over. Uh, to cross the ship. Spreading my wings, in all their glory. Uh, Kaka, motherfucker. Uh, Kaka, motherfucker. <laughs> With a deafening battle cry, 
I stab him right in the brain. Awesome. And and with that, why don't you give yourself some inspiration? Because that battle cry was amazing. Richard, I never thought you'd be uh... <laughs> that would come in handy. Oh, okay. How do I do that? Uh, so on your character sheet, um, towards the top oh, left it. corner, you'll see it. Just check it. Gives you the the chance to roll for advantage on an attack uh, in the near future. Awesome. And anything else? I'm guessing no. Um, well, actually, I'll move over here and attack his pal with, uh, talents. Okay. Unfortunately, uh, getting all amped up and excited about your, uh, your calling has really put him on alert, and he, as he sees you moving towards him, he's able to kind of safely back away just enough that as you're swiping at him with your foot, it doesn't even come anywhere near him. Get um, Featherhead. I'll leave it at that. All right. And with that, the pirate directly in front of you is now a little intimidated, but he's going to go ahead and try to hit you anyways. Does a 19 hit? Oh, yeah, it does. Okay. Uh... Fortunately, he rolled super low and only does one slashing damage. Okay. Uh, anything else from him? No, he is going to be done. And I don't know why it's automatically rolling everything here. Hold on. Have we seen any motion from below deck? Like stairs coming up. Anything of the sort. Uh from below deck? Uh, yeah, I see there's big stairs. Since there's no uh, yes, there. this is a, a very large ship. And there's plenty to do on both large ships. Uh if you want to give me an investigation check. I can't do that, that's on my turn. Sorry. Yes, on your turn. Uh, so, this pirate also going to come up and try to attack you as well. Uh, does a 13 hit? Negative. Alright, so he goes to swipe with his dagger as well, and unfortunately misses, and is able to kind of, he kind of loses balance as he's swiping because he's like, came rushing up the top of this this little platform wasn't sure-footed as he swipes he misses entirely uh let's see what else do we have uh we have these uh pirates this one's going to come up and attempt to attack kaisis with the scimitar does a 10 hit all right, so he goes to uh, swipe an attack and unfortunately swings a little bit wide, isn't able to actually connect with his attack, um, and goes for his second. What about a 21? That hits. That hits. All right, one second. Are, um, the things are not showing up in the chat. Is that supposed to happen? I'm sending them to myself. Oh, 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 right, sorry. Uh, for seven damage. I'm sorry, I think my Discord cut out. Can you say that again? Uh, he took, uh, seven damage. Oof. Yeah. And, uh, this pirate that's right in my line of sight, right in front yes. of me. Yes. Uh, it's not. I know it's my turn, but I just want to glare him straight in the eye. Okay. Uh, a little. All right. So glare at him. He 
kind of looks at you a little cross. He's not really focused on you, though. He wants to get a swipe here at Kaisis as well. Does an eight hit? No. All right. So he goes for a swipe with his dagger, and as he lunges forward, you're able to kind of sidestep it a little bit, avoid taking the hit from him. Uh, let's see. What else do we have? These pirates are going to make their way over here. This one, there are a couple that are trying to run and get to the opposite ship. Uh, they don't want anything to do with you. Uh, this one over here is running and trying to get into the captain's quarters over on this ship. And this one here is coming up and unfortunately is climbing over top of his dead buddies. So it's going to take him a minute to get there. Um, I believe that is everything. Uh, Skatarnith, you are up. All right, this guy right in front of me. I want to... Is there like a little wall right in between him and Kaisis? Uh, which one? Uh, the pirate. That one. To the right or left? That one. The one to the right? No, that is just like a, a flag laying on the ground and a couple of crates directly in the middle here. Okay. Um, I want to pull out my tinderbox. Okay. And can I use it to light the arrow that I had prepped before? Uh, sure. So, like, for, for on my full turn, no movement, no attack. Uh, use it, light the arrow, pull out my bow. And would I be able to get a shot in at the sails? Uh, you can, but you're going to have to to use your, uh, your action to light the arrow, so you won't be able to fire it yet. Okay. Um, well, uh, I can still move, though? Yes. All right, I will move. Oh. No, they're still occupied with Kaisis. I'll mm -hmm. stay right there and just pull up the tinderbox, light the arrow, pull out my bow. All righty. Uh, Kaisis, you're up. Um, I guess I'll hit the one directly to my left because he's threatening Pandora more. All righty. Um, I have advantage on this one. Yes. Oh yeah, that hits. Oh yeah, he dropped to the ground immediately. Like he, he was so focused on trying to hit you that he wasn't thinking about defending himself. He just wanted to hit you. Uh, so as he made his attack and landed it earlier, um, he he kind you kind of caught him a little off guard. He wasn't prepared for you to immediately strike back. Uh, and just right through his chest with your sword, uh, no issues whatsoever. All right. Anything else? Um, I don't think so. Okay. Keep me covered. Pandora, you are up. Oh, they're all getting really close, aren't they? How are you doing over there, Bird Brain? I've been better. I'll start working my way over to him. Same. And just gonna Eldritch Blast the one near the stairs. Alright. Oh yeah, that hits. Oh, without a question. As soon as you release it, he's because he's climbing over the dead body of his buddy, he's not paying any attention to you. He takes the Eldritch Blast directly to the face, which kind of sends him backwards. Like, that comedic, like, hits him and it pushes him back. And he kind of slides a, a, an extra couple feet back behind him and lands in about a five-foot distance from where he was standing. Yeah, we got a pile up on I-9. <laughs> yeah, that stairs is going to be hard to get down. Uh-huh. Uh, I'm going to move just a little bit, but not too much because they're still within range if I get out too far away. You know, there's always, you have to consider, every time you've just done cleared like mobbing through a room you have to think about the poor janitor who has to clean all that up yeah 
Oh yeah, I don't envy that guy. Well, I think Fire will be our janitor. I think I think that's going to be about as far as I get because I think any farther that I'm open to attack from the other side. Okay. Um, let me see. Uh, Lorgus, give me. What do I want here? One second. I'm looking for something very specific. Give me a perception check. Oh. Um so from from where you stand, um it's kind of hard to tell, but it almost it almost feels like you can feel some kind of vibration with this ship. Don't know what it is. Uh but you can feel something. Uh other than that, I can't really give you much else. Uh, with that, though, it is your turn. Is there anything you would like to do? Um, to hopefully buy myself a little bit more time so that uh, help can arrive, I'll mm -hmm. take the dodge action. Okay. So that allows you to... Hold on. It allows you to kind of avoid or put them at a disadvantage to hit you. Is that correct? If I remember um, correctly. Yeah, it gives me a disadvantage, and I can also make dex saving throws, I think. Gotcha. Yep. Uh, might, I, might I suggest taking the disengage action? Oh, am I not allowed to say this? Yeah. Yeah, I'm not allowed to say it. Sorry. Also, um, am I allowed to break the crossbow? Uh, You can, but it would take several rounds for them to reload it and at this point you are the bigger threat than trying to get that crossbow okay oh then yeah he's right I should have taken the disengage and then flown away yeah it's okay anything else I will pray to our in Jesus <laughs> all right Pirate round, unfortunately. Uh, the one directly in front of Lorgus will be on the attack first here. Uh, does a 10 hit? Nope. Okay, and swipes again with his dagger. One sec. What about... Uh, what about a 21? Ah, uh, um, but I can make a deck save, right? Yes, you can. Yikes. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, uh, it the second dagger attack as it comes through, it is able to kind of clip you, but fortunately, it's not doing much damage and hits you for two damage. Alright. Uh, the one to the south, he was pretty intimidated by your screech earlier. Uh, he kind of wants nothing to do with you, and he's going to try to bolt. Uh, and as he does so, you will get an opportunity attack. How do I roll that? Just roll a damage attack with your melee weapon, whatever one you're wanting, wanting to use. Oh yeah, that hits. All right, so with four damage, uh, this one, he kind of stumbles forward, hurting really badly from that. Um, he wasn't prepared because he's just trying to get the hell away from you. Uh, but he is still, unfortunately, still standing. Uh, these guys are headed to the back of the ship and are leaving. They want nothing to do with you guys. You're clearing way too many of their buddies. They are out of here. Uh, this one is going to go downstairs here and is also going to disappear. The one up here to the north is still frantically trying to get into this uh, this captain's quarters. Uh, the door appears 
like it's locked and he's trying to force his way in he's using his dagger and jabbing it into the doorway and he's trying to break it open he's trying to get away but at this point he's not getting anywhere with the dagger uh so he's kind of stuck where he is um this one up here is going to go for an attack and is going to attack kai says one second which town has the oil southern ship southern ship the one you were on nice uh, one sec goes for a dagger attack does a 14 hit Kaisis. what was the hit 14 no okay so he goes for his dagger swipe unfortunately goes a little wide isn't able to hit you uh kind of chinks off the armor a little bit uh but otherwise doesn't really do anything to hurt you. The other one, charging up, going to try to do the same thing. Does a 10 hit? Nope. All right, so same thing here. He's taking his dagger. He's going to try to jab at you. Uh, much like his, his buddy, it's it's almost like they're getting a little terrified here. You're, their men are dropping too quickly, and they don't have the numbers anymore that they did when this started. Uh, so... It's getting to him a little bit. Um, uh, Skatarneth, you're up. Asia, okay. Um, sorry, bad pun. All right, I think I think I'm gonna send that arrow straight to the set. All right, give me a, a longbow attack or a ranged, short bow. Short yeah, bow. or short bow. Yep. Oh, 23 hits, so you launch this thing and it sets fire, uh, aims true to the center of the sail, uh, immediately sparks, uh, starts building a flame. Uh, give me a perception check. Okay, uh, so as the the arrow hits and the sail starts catching fire you're noticing that it's not burning very quick uh and as it's starting to spread uh it's almost like the the one arrow's just not going to be enough it's going to take several to get this thing burning very quickly uh otherwise it's it's on fire but it's going to take it a little bit to to get where you're wanting it to go don't need it to burn quickly I mean, you still got just need it to burn yep uh okay, so that was my attack i can still move correct you can still move uh use caution when moving i'll i'll need you to show me the path that you're going to take uh because there are enemies around and if you move too close or too far if you go past them it okay. may per yeah opportunity attack all right but there's no one really in the center all just dead bodies correct there's nobody in the center at this time You gotta move your character, so oh, click and drag and or click and hold, press space bar, move, press space bar, yeah. Alright, so I can only move thirty feet, so I'm just gonna go straight for Alrighty. Yeah. Yep, I sure can. Alright, so yeah, you make it over to the middle of the, the ship, no problem. Uh None of the other pirates are anywhere near you, and obviously they couldn't attack you as you did so. Anything else? Uh, no, no, nothing. Nope. All right. Uh, Kaisis. Bro. All right. Uh, I'm going to swipe at the guy uh, up into my right. Okay. Oh yeah, that hits. All right, and you take your short sword, you swipe at him, go almost across the chest. Uh, unfortunately, his vest is just thick enough that it it hits him and it it hurts pretty bad, but it doesn't do enough damage to actually kill him. Anything else? Um, 
I think that's it. Okay. Um, let's see. Pandora, you are up. All right, I was going to help Loragus, but it looks like we should finish off these two first. So I'm going to uh, finish the one he just hit on the right. Okay. Oh, no. Uh, no, uh, unfortunately, a seven doesn't hit. Uh, so because, because of the positioning of where the two are, you kind of lean a little bit to the right and you try to like almost curveball it around uh, Kaisa's. And as you do so, it, the the other guy obviously can see you leaning over and is like, he kind of watches as it goes by and looks over at you and just kind of shakes his head. Oh, don't worry. I'll aim for you next time. <laughs> and anything else? I'm just going to take a scoot towards... Uh so that he's not so close all righty done it, that's it all right Orgus, you are up hang in there for the head um i'll hit the guy directly in front of me with my yuklua all righty do the thing the thing has been thing oh the thing has definitely been thing give me the damage for that thing Oh, he drops dead. So tell me how you finish this in one shot. Mute it. Silent killer. Mm-hmm. Laura, is she there? Okay, so I'll go ahead and dictate it because I can't hear him. Oh. Oh. You back? Yeah, I forgot I wasn't hitting push to talk. Oh. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, give me some flavor then. Uh, uh, angered by how he had cliffed me earlier, I take two slashes down the chest, uh, two slashes at his chest, and then finish him off by stabbing him through the center of the X. Awesome. And uh, after that, I'll fly off so that they can't hit me because All I am right. at two health. All right. <laughs> All right. With that, uh, this pirate was rushing to get away. Uh, he's trying to get underneath here. Going to try to run. Uh, obviously hasn't made it all the way there yet. Uh, these two are once again going to attempt their swipes at... Uh, Kaisis here does a seven hit. No, okay. Oh, unfortunately, this one's probably gonna hit. Hold on, uh, yeah, uh, does a 20 hit. Yes, okay, so, uh as he does this, uh, brings his dagger in, and as he jabs it in, uh, he they can tell you're kind of worn down here, and he hits you and kind of looks kind of dead in your eye and doesn't release the dagger, just leaves it there. Uh, hits you for two damage. Oof. Yeah. Uh, the other one is going to make his way down here. Going to face off with Pandora. I'll um, protection her for the first attack to give him disadvantage. Okay, so either way, he rolled a 12. Does that hit? 12 does not hit, thankfully. Thankfully. All right, so he swipes with a scimitar. Uh, goes a little bit wide uh, because of the help of Kaisis. Uh, you're able to kind of knock his shield's able to kind of knock the scimitar away. Does no damage to you. Uh, leaving the only pirate left to do anything right now is the one at the door. And he is finally, as he's messing with this door and he's messing with the dagger and kind of jiggling it around, 
he suddenly hears a click and like excited excitedly he immediately throws the door open and rushes inside and disappears Was he gonna have a sledgehammer checks? Was it lockpick with a dagger? Uh, he was just trying to jimmy the door open. That's all he was doing. Trying to get away. GG. Yep. He gave him enough rounds. He was able to do it. Uh, Skitarneth, you were up. Okay. Um. The captain's hold is to my right. Uh, there is a captain's quarters. The door is completely open. Um, uh, I can give you a description. Uh, basically, as you look in, what's that? Yeah, can you tell me if anyone's inside? Uh, no, there's nobody inside of the captain's quarters here. Anything of note, value, I can easily see. Uh, as you're looking around, uh, give me uh, an investigation check. Yeah. Yeah, so as you're looking around, I mean, you're you're not really seeing anything of note. It just looks like a, a bunch of crumpled papers, maybe uh uh an empty chest here and there. Uh you do see a sack of gold coins or sack of coins sitting on the table in the the desk in there, but other than that, you don't see anything else. Let me reimburse the or characters for the points or somewhere um uh, but never mind all right i'm going to dash to the other ship i can do that yes okay dash. Uh, it's not showing me we get, oh okay, there we are can i can i go underneath uh, underneath is over here. To get to the n bottom level of this this uh, ship. No, of the of the uh, north ship. Uh, you want to go to this area? Yeah, this. Oh, I didn't mean to let go. You can. Uh, that takes forty feet of your movement. Uh, to get there. Uh, you can go. I'll, I'll wait. I'll wait for the. Uh, I'll yeah. Wait for the others. All right. And from that point. I will just, I'll take the, um, dodge action, I guess, just in case anyone comes out. Okay. Um, alright. Oh, I can't, because I used dash to get there. Never mind. Correct. Uh, Kaisis. Um, I'll smack the one that I uh, hit earlier again. Okay. Oh yeah, you definitely smacked him. Yep, and immediately uh, as you bring this sword around, uh, <laughs> you're kind of irritated that you've been fighting all of these guys and they're they're not leaving you alone. So as you come around with your sword, you hit and it hits right between the neck and the shoulder and it slices through like a good four or five inches and you, you feel the, the body of the pirate directly in front of you. You kind of go lifeless and drops immediately to the ground. That's new for the pirate. Rip that guy. Rip that guy. Hey. Uh, anything else? Uh, that'll be my turn. Okay. Pandora, you're up. All right, close range casting sucks, so she's going to take out her dagger and she's going to try her best to stab this guy. Do it. Oh, yeah, 13 hits. Yep, and unfortunately for him, he's not doing so hot himself, and the pierce of the, the dagger goes straight through his chest, and you kind of pinpoint it pointed it properly and as it goes through it pierces right through his lung and he kind of grasps grasps at his arm or his chest and is like he looks at you and his eyes kind of just widen and as he drops to his knees and falls to the ground he is dead 
is dead. Oh, hey, I, I got that one. I got that one. Let's let's get out of here. Okay. Get over here. And Lorigus, there's still one left right over here. And the other one that is inside of the captain's quarters over here. I'll fly over to this guy and attack him with a Maya Yuklua. Alrighty. Oh yeah, that hits. Oh dude, you, you slaughtered this guy. So as you're coming down, you're like using your momentum and as you come down, you take the Yikawa. Yikawa? Yikawa. You take the Yikawa and you jab it right through his chest and it goes through so much that the actual blade tip of it has went past and it's actually sticking all the way through his chest with the wooden section and it lifts him and kind of drops him back on the ground as as you impact him. He is there, dead. I must apologize, but there is no escape today. All right. Anything else? I'll use the rest of my movement to uh, get to the rest of the people. Uh, so you're coming to the group back here? Yeah. All right. And... I'm just going to comment now. 50 move speed is the greatest thing. <laughs> yes, it is. All right. Uh, so with that... Uh, Everybody give me a perception check, please. Perception? Oh, are you kidding me? Where is my character? Oh, one second. Sorry. Okay, Pandora. As all this is going on and things are starting to quiet down a little bit, it it seems like you can hear uh, from the hull below on the ship that you're standing in, or standing on, uh, you hear a, a humming noise. Uh, it appears that as the fight has continued, this, this humming has just kind of appeared. And you hear a little bit of talking down below but you're pretty sure that it was just a pirate but you're really not sure at this point there's uh there's something going on down below weird weird noises i, I think we should probably just set the stairs on fire and leave them to it sounds like a good idea can i hear anything of what people are saying or anything different since i'm on the other ship uh on that ship uh Give me, what was your perception check? Yeah. So, on your ship, um, down below deck, you can actually hear uh, what what appears, you, you think they're commoners or something, and you hear them shouting, help us, help us, they're, they've been hurting us, help us. Oh, shit. Okay. Um, well, I think before we set the stairs on fire, it's likely they, that's where they keep their stores. I think we should at least check it out. We've already got a minor burning with the sails. I'll spread mm -hmm. eventually. That you do. And since the ships are connected, right? Uh, yes, the ships are connected by this plank here in the middle. So it'll probably spread to the other ship too. We better get things going. There are no pirates left on top, right? Uh, that except for the one in, that is trying to hide himself in the captain's quarters to oh. the west northwest can over there? uh you can but we're gonna take a five minute break okay eat i under i understand what you mean by making it worse we need we should yes. definitely make sure there are no quote unquote innocent people on board all right so kaisis is checking the captain's quarters correct uh yeah uh, one second here. Da -da. Da -da. I should class it the Bard. <laughs> You'd have to sing every time you inspire, though. All right. So. Did you get what I was referencing with that? 
You're able to see inside. Uh, feel free to loot bodies, whoever, whatever you guys want to do. Uh, you let yeah, me know what I'll you're be doing. Looting, then. I'm gonna loot the. I'm gonna loot the three near me over here. Okay. Uh, as you are looting those bodies, let me get my list here of everything. All right, so uh, from the group of bodies there, you find four gold pieces, uh, 20 silver pieces, and one potion of healing. Four gold, 20 silver, one potion? Yes. Um, I'd pro I'll probably scour this captain's quarters here. Okay, uh, within that, as uh, kind of pointed out to uh, Skitarneth, uh, there's really not a lot in this one. Uh, this one looks pretty empty. Uh, there appears to be a bag sitting on top of the desk uh, there in the, the captain's quarters. Uh, it does have uh, a few uh, a few gold coins, uh, uh, 15 to be exact, Uh but other than that, there's really not much else there. All right. Well, uh, I'll grab the whatever bag is on the desk. Okay. Hey, yeah, uh, this one of these guys had a potion on him. We should check the others. Yeah, I'm going to uh, check the people that were like over here. Okay. Uh, as you are checking these, uh, give me a perception check, please. I swear to God, if this one. <laughs> Why? <laughs> okay, uh, you were able to see that there are uh, three gold pieces, 15 silver, and a second potion of healing. All right, cool. Hold uh, on, I, I need to see. Has any of my perception checks been at like a two digit number? No, I don't think so. Uh, yeah, no. That's sad because I have plus four. So much for those owl eyes. All right. Uh, so can, what else? Can I continue go Can I continue going into the cap, the captain's quarters, and this boat that I'm in? You following that? Scared you can. Pirate? Yeah, he just pulled the doors closed, uh, and is just sitting on the other side. Can I knock on the door? And, uh, let's see. Uh, open up! Captain's there! Give me a deception check. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, let's, let's do this. Pandora, give me a perception check. Uh. Okay. Pandora, I do have. I like how I. I like how I keep rolling high with a minus one. I have seven. <laughs> I get twelve on both. Okay. Uh... Yeah, you're not fooling this pirate. He shouts out and it's like, "No, no, you are not. You are not the captain. Go away!" Immediately rushes the door, barricading it, keeping you from pushing it open too. Uh, Pandora, you're able to identify that all of the swords that the soldiers are carrying are 100% identical. All of the daggers, all of the, uh, uh, what are they using? The scimitars, uh, all of them match. How much you want to bet they were supplied by the capital? That. Uh Geysis, Geysis, these these swords all look uh, like they were crafted from the same place. That, that's a that's a sign that somebody is outfitting these guys, right? Maybe Usually, that would that would be what I would guess too. Yeah, I sense oh. betrayal from the capital. Maybe uh, there was a... yeah, these these might be privateers and not really pirates. Maybe there was a fifty percent off at the scimitars and swords shop. Scimitars and Swords Boutique. Uh, hey, anyways, uh, who, who wants this potion? You both got really banged up. Who is familiar with the Living Isles? 
who has done which character has been doing research on this area i could do a history right now yes please i um i'm pretty sure no i haven't been really researching but i got, i was the one that got the note right yes but it's also been many many years since you've been here as yeah. well so uh yeah, of course pandora as you take a closer look your knowledge of the area is telling you that these swords bear the symbol of the Storm King. Though their armor and clothing appears to just be normal pirate standards. Uh, yep, definitely. Definitely the Storm King's uh, people are outfitting these guys, at least weapon-wise. So uh, it's a pretty clear indication that uh, this is trouble. Or they attacked a supply ship with it but that seems less plausible maybe i don't know uh, how close is the sail to fully burning uh it is covered about a quarter of the sail so far okay uh, um <coughs> hey, uh, dusty could use could uh could, could use that healing potion uh it was pandora that found it right uh, yeah, yeah. I, I've got one over here, yeah. Yeah, oh. uh, send, her, send her my way, please. <laughs> Missing. I'll make my way across and hand it over to uh, her. Kaisis, where is your token? He did okay. vanish. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It, it uh, disappeared on me a second ago, too. Okay, one sec. Do you remember how much health you have? I have two of 11. Two of 11. Okay, one sec. So, uh, is this door not opening for you, huh? Uh, just a sec. I, I mean, I'm just saying it would be a real shame if I had to start the fire here if he barricaded himself go. in. Oh, yes, that... Although, there are some things in there that we could use. Uh, I have a... more... kebabier idea. Yeah. Uh... You hear that in there? He he wants to keep you alive. You, you may want to open uh, the door before I burn it. Oh, no. I really don't need him alive. I just want him intact. Uh, so Shh, can, can... We're trying to convince him to come out. He, you He's... said that with not whispering. He but hears he, all so of did, this. He hears all so of this. You. And immediately takes his scimitar and shoves it between the two doors to try to keep him from being opened. Oh, like he he puts it sideways. Yes. Can I take my rapier? And I know he's like on the other side of the door, right? Mm-hmm. Just shove it right through the door, like through the wood, into him, or wherever I think he is. Okay. Yeah. Give me give me the attack roll. All right. Unfortunately, it as it goes through, it gets stuck through and like. The tip of the, the rapier itself is sticking through, but not much else. And you can obviously see that now you've attempted to attack him as well. That, that, that was a warning strike. Uh, next time, it's going straight through your face. Hey, take the, take the potion before you try and kill people. Oh, yes, it's a good idea. Can I take the potion? Yes. You're, out of, you're out of combat right now, so... You it's, can, uh, how much does it uh, 2d4 plus 2. Okay. Should I roll that? Yes. Anybody else that is taking potions, please do so now. Did I did I find one as well? Uh, there were two potions found. So... I have the other one. I think. Ah, right. uh, nine. Perfect. Uh, Kaisis, you can heal yourself, right? Uh, no. Uh, I will... Uh, actually, I'm gonna have you hold on to that. I'm gonna... Because I'm... Wanting to see you guys get to the final part of this. I'm gonna say that through your downtime, you're... Because this guy's not charging out, and he's kinda happy just staying in there, and... You're arguing back and forth. I'm going to say it's going to take like an hour or so. So you're able to, if you want, 
uh, roll your hit die and get some of your health back and perform oh, a I... short rest. Uh, so I shouldn't Sweet. use the potion? My spell back, at least. Yeah, I wouldn't use the potion. Just hold on to it. All right. Um, I want to give um, that to you for later. Again? Uh, take a short rest, roll your hit die, uh, and get some health back. Don't use a potion right now. Okay. Yeah, I know. Um, how do I do that? Click, Click where it says hit die on your character sheet. Oh, wow. Ooh. So, yeah, okay. you got all of that back anyways. Um, I don't know where it is. It's in the middle right, right under below where it says temporary hit points. There you go. So, add eight health back. Kaisis. Yeah, Three... And all right, so go After ahead. After an hour, is the flame any any bigger yeah. on the sail? Uh, yeah, it is. It's it's covering half, but again, you're you're talking. It, it's it's a long, slow burn. It's not going to just burn down immediately. This material's uh, kind of made to weather everything. Plus, it's uh, probably wet from, you know. The hit die doesn't work for overheal, right? What do you mean? Uh, no, yeah, if you if you hit your max, you hit your max, that's it. Alright, cool. Also, can I fly over here and, like, search this guy? Sure. Uh, you find... 10 silver pieces and... 25 bronze pieces. Or copper, I'm sorry, copper pieces. Okay, um, can I try and pick this lock or kick down the door or something? Uh, you can give me a strength check if you want to kick down the door. Yeah, I'll try, yeah, since it's wedged, I'll, I'll kick it. Okay, yeah, against his uh, strength, yeah, you're able to burst the door open, kind of knocks him back a little bit, keeps him from holding that door closed. Uh, as you open this door, uh, I'm going to... How do I want to do this? Uh, yeah, uh, go ahead and... Give me... Actually, you caught him off guard. Would you like to go ahead and take a sneak attack? Or a bonus round on this? I don't want to attack him. Okay. Uh, hmm. Can I, like, pistol whip him with the butt of my rapier? Sure. Like, uh, right over the head. Give me a uh, melee attack, please. Unarmed. 1d20 one, plus... L. Yeah. yeah, unfortunately, as you try to do this, you miss, and he's frantically, he knocks your hand away and immediately comes at you with the dagger. Go ahead and yeah, give me... I take a shot at him before he does that. Okay, I'll give you this one, but then if it misses, you guys are going to have to give me a initiative, uh, initiative roll. 11 hits. Okay. I blow his head clean off. Oh yeah, you do. You yeah. you let loose this Eldritch Blast, and instead of him, as he's reaching for his dagger and is getting ready to stab into Skatarneth, uh, you're able to hit him, and he just falls flat. I mean, that that was all it really took was the one shot. Seems like a decent fellow. Shame. Yeah. Yes, it, it's... Uh, Thank you, though. He will be mourned, that guy who tried to stab you. Yes, uh, thank you for the save. Can I, um, poke around his body? Yes. Uh, you find nothing on that body, unfortunately. Do I find mm. anything in the captain's quarters as a whole? All right. So, one second. I'm looking for my notes on that. Da -da -da. All right. So, as you enter the cap the captain's quarters, 
Uh, you note several small sacks and chests around the room all appear to be empty. Uh, the There's a note found on the desk in the middle of the room. Uh, stabbed through the tabletop by a small ornate dagger. On the back wall, a large map of Faerun uh, with several pins put into places uh, as if to indicate some form of activity. Uh, what would you like to do? Every all, There's no gold? Everything's empty? Correct. Mm. Well, can I examine the map closer to see anything about the Living Isles? Sure, give me a perception check. Hey, where is the captain of this boat? Uh, with your perception check, uh, as you're inspecting the map uh, at the back of the room, it kind of indicates, or you can tell that it indicates that this vessel's done a lot of travels around the Living Isles. Uh, between each pin, there's a, a line of string that connects each point, kind of uh, uh, connecting every place as if he's tracking everything he's doing. Uh, and then at one point, you see that there's a lot of travel uh, that goes back and forth between uh, Crow's Nest Cove over on Clycare Island and the uh, Island of Grell. Of course there is. Uh, as we suspected, this vessel has been with Clycare quite a bit. Which probably means they were with the Storm King weapons as well. We should uh, take this map as evidence, I think. Good idea. Yes, good. That would uh, help our cause, I think. Can I take the map? You can. Uh, you fold up the map. Uh, how are you taking it down, though? Because you have to remember there are pins attached to everything, and it is a generic map of uh, not just the Living Isles, but Faerun itself. Honestly, I couldn't care less care about the rest of Faerun, I can rip off the portion that has the Living Isles and make sure the pins are in the right spot. Okay. Um, and keep them with the pins. Okay, give me a sleight of hand check, please. Ouch. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, as you're ripping this portion of the map off, uh, all of the pins that were in it kind of fall off and you see the pile of string just fall um you're really unable to remember all of them you just remember that crow's nest cove and grell island were the only two uh that had a bunch of pins or a bunch of passes going back and forth on them oh shit that's not good my uh, my, my bad uh, uh, didn't have any maps like this on our salvage Oh, sure. uh, I'll just fold it up embarrassed and put it in my bag. Okay. Um. I guess let's just go check out what's uh what's hiding beneath this ship. Um, I'm gonna collect some of the pins that had fallen on the floor. Okay. And uh, be like, I mean, it doesn't really matter, I suppose. I mean, if we can just put them back on there. I mean, people are going to believe us as much as they're going to believe us anyway. Right. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, you gather up, uh, I'd say there are about 15, 20 pins. Uh, they were poked through the map. Uh, you disconnect the string that was attached to them and pack them away in your pouch. How delightfully devious. Uh, some... Can I check for, like, any trap doors that might be in here? Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, give me a perception check. Uh, as you're checking, uh, obviously the, you're looking around the captain's quarters. You're not seeing anything that stands out as a trap door, but this small dagger on that tabletop uh, has really caught your attention. I pick up the dagger. Uh, the dagger, which is attached to a note, uh, as you lift it off of the table, because it was stuck into the table, uh, as you lift it off the table, you hear what sounds like uh, a small key kind of flops around uh, underneath the piece of paper.
Toggles with talk. Talk yet. What? Okay. The key. What a what? Did you hear what he said? No. Uh, so basically what happened is as you remove the dagger, uh, it, it was stuck through a piece of paper, a note that was on the desk. Uh, and as you pulled the dagger out, uh, with the note attached to it, uh, you heard what sounded like a small key fell and landed back on top of the desk. Uh, I pick up the key and read the note. Uh, the note itself is pretty basic. Uh, all it says is, I have given you everything you need to rid the lands of Rainhaven. Make it so. And it's signed with the letter T. Well, well. Uh, I wonder who T is. Just right. The key itself, uh, there doesn't seem to be anything in the immediate area that you could use it on, but I'm sure that there's something that it would be used for on this boat. All right, well, I'll keep the key. Right. Can, uh, did I go back and retrieve my dagger from the dead bodies? No, you did not. Can I go do that? Yes, you can. I'm just gonna run over here, retrieve it from the uh, forehead. So at this time, the flame on the main sail has now spread to the, the smaller sail directly in front of it. Um, starting small, again, it's not building very quickly, uh, so it's giving you a little bit of time to still explore a bit. Okay, uh, well, since this is the one, I think we should explore the whole of this, this ship first. It's going down soon. Uh, yeah, probably. That's a good idea, I guess. So, All right, so you guys way. are going to come over here to go downstairs? Aye, aye. All right, we're going to push you guys together here and move you. Nope. <laughs> nope. Wait a sec. Okay, so go to my other page here. Da, da, da. Oh, that means I can't fly. That is correct. I mean, you can fly and hit your head. I don't think that really counts as flying, then. Uh, one sec. Alright, so... Come downstairs. And you can see through all the ports where all of the cannons are. Uh, light is pretty dim down here. Uh, just a couple of uh, uh, torches or candles uh, spread throughout the room. Um, looking for my notes page here. One sec. As a half-life, do I get, since I have uh, dark vision? Yes, you will be able to see for 60 feet. Uh and it should show up dimly on your screen. Neither of them I think have I have dark vision as well. Yeah. I'm blind to af. Mm -hmm. Mine looks like it's okay. Blind as a bat. Yeah, I can't. It just looks dark. Uh, Skitarneth, right? Yeah. One sec. Let me check your settings. Uh, are you looking in the right section? You might have to scroll down a bit. Or zoom yeah, out. Um, I see me, and I see people. I just, it looks very jagged. Like, yes, it's, it's supposed to, because there's some light, but certain things, like the stairway oh. here, is blocking your vision going around. Oh, this, that, wait. that's intentional. That is, uh, line Sorry. of sight. Oh, wait. Line of sight enforcement. It changes depending on where we are. Yes, it does. Okay. So, now I'm looking for my other note here. One sec. So many notes. All right. Okay, so... Uh, as you enter the bottom level or the the 
mid-level of this ship. Uh, the humming that you heard before is now much deeper, uh, heavier rumble. Uh, you can feel it kind of quaking through the ship. Uh, mostly appears that this ship has been abandoned down here. Uh, you're not seeing anything, you're not seeing any people, uh, but there is a second set of stairs that take you to the bottom of the ship itself, uh, which, uh, as as Skatarneth would know, is kind of like where all the cargo would go in any ship. What could be going on down there? We saw some men run down there. Are they trying to ambush us if we run down? I think we could handle them. Well, I'm sorry, but unlike you, I don't think I can see anything down here. You can always well, light a torch. Uh, um, with him saying he can't see, I'm going to go ahead and cast Dancing Lights. Fantastic. Uh, and you're just going to cast it in your direction? Or on you? I'll put it on him. Put it on him? Okay. Is that way he's a him, right? and I'm not. Yeah, 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 that's that's my thinking instead. That it'll follow him and not okay. make him a target or anything. All right, one sec. 65, yes. and all players see light. Uh, God said, let there be light. You, let there be dancing lights. All oh, right. pick a color. Pick the color. <laughs> yeah, pick the color. Uh, it is uh, blue. Okay. All right, uh, blue, and it comes out green. <laughs> oh. Sorry. One sec. Eh, it's good enough. I can see. Performance issues. Magic is fickle. Magic is fickle. That's oh, fair. it doesn't let me do that. Hold on. I'll just do on a square of five. There we go. Your light is now green around you. Okay. So, so I think we'd like to go down, downstairs. You want to go down, down? Okay. So that's what we will do. Uh, is everybody... there anything uh, that looks like it's of value? Like at this table, I see there's <clears throat> uh, stuff there, but I don't know if it's actually there, there, or just... You see, you see a couple of copper pieces, uh, but really nothing discernible. Uh, a lot of it's just like, just junk shells, you know, other miscellaneous things that they picked up over time. Uh, it's just all kind of cluttered together there. Don't forget, right. we need to reimburse Lord Peridries. Oh, I mean, we still have that. We still have that, right? We didn't lose it. It's upstairs. I mean, we don't have it. But we it's in the chest the upstairs, uh, All right. unless one of you knocked it over. All right, I'm going to stack you guys again. Give me a second, and I'm going to move you downstairs. We have to get that before the ship burns down, remember? Yeah, that too. All right. One sec. All right, so as you enter the very bottom level of the ship's hull, the humming is now a very, very loud hum, a very deep rumble. I'm going to ask you, don't move just yet. I'm moving. <laughs> uh, as you uh, come down here, you can hear a little bit of chatter uh, from all around. Uh, it appears that uh, these aren't these aren't like the pirates. They're not they're not talking thieves can't. They're just just talking in common. Uh, and you hear a mumbling at the end uh, of the the hall itself. Uh, go ahead and start moving, but you're gonna have. To let me know how you're doing this. Can we stay in stealth? 
you can stealth. If you would like to stealth, you could give me, each of you can give me a stealth uh, roll, and we can do a group stealth, uh, just in case one of you flubs up bad. Uh, hey. hey, look at that. What's, this is my specialty. Look at um, that. Don't F it up. Please. If we crit stealth, does that mean we're invisible? No, it just means that you are covering for anybody that can't self. Okay, I am going oh, to. Oh, that works too. I am going. Yep, I will. I'm going to give you guys uh, 20 feet of movement from where you are before you will have to give me a stealth check again. Um, as you start to peek around here, give me a second. Who's that guy I can see? Uh, as you peek around the corners here, uh, so there are edges here. Uh, you can probably see them. They look like uh, walls here, like at the corners. Uh, these are all cages surrounding this. Uh, your point of access is basically going to be from here. I'll show you where you can go. You can kind of come around here, uh, and that's going to be like the paths you can take uh, because of the way that the cages are outlining the outside edge. Uh, the cages themselves uh, appear to all be holding uh, Alliance Guard members who are held captive. Uh, they've remained silent because they see you coming down. They know you're here to help. You're not like the other uh, pirates, though you still wear the pirate garbs that you put on earlier. Oh, crap. Uh, oh, right. Uh, they're, they're silent. They're not saying anything, and they're just watching you right now. The one next to me? Yes. I'll just I'll pull off my face mask. There's no point disguising anymore. Um and just show him and like put my finger to my mouth and okay. I do the same, but because I'm not disguised in the first place yeah. Okay. Uh so uh Go ahead and what what is your twenty? Where's your twenty at right here? Uh yeah. Okay. That's if that's where I'm going. If you would want to continue from here, you will again have to perform a stealth roll. Yeah, I think so. Can I get a good look at the guy that's standing at the end that doesn't look like he's in a cage? Uh, yeah, the guy down at the end. Uh, so as you look down there, uh, there's a very, very large man down there. Uh, he's wearing chainmail and he's kneeling before this glowing portal at the end of the ship. Uh, it's glimmering up bright golden color uh kind of uh like a stonish archway uh directly in front of him uh he's just mumbling he he hasn't said anything loud enough that anybody can make you know any difference out of he can't you can't distinguish what he's actually saying you can just tell that he's whatever he's doing he's talking to this portal Ugh, i hate magic on my ship hey I now Oh, yeah, so. I hate magic on ships. Give me a stealth check. Just just you, Skatarna. Since you were. Come on. Big man. Uh, oh. Oof. Wow. So. This is my specialty. Wait, can I just use my feeling. inspiration on him? So it's. No. The inspiration oh. is just for you. So, as you say, I don't like magic on my ships. This knight at the end of the hallway turns around and glares back at you and his eyes are glowing red. Oh, shit. And he says, no! He assured me that I was the chosen one. You cannot take this power from me. I will not die because of you. He who? And that is where we're ending our session tonight. Oh, oh no. Nice. Good cliffhanger. That's a good one. God damn, this boy. <laughs> but, but no. I can't wait another, wait, how much is it? Uh, Two weeks. Yeah, Two I'm, weeks. Tr I'm trying to get it in hours, but like, <laughs> I can't do the math quickly enough. A while. <laughs> Next week. Wait, wait, so, so is, the, is there going to be another one in January? Uh, let's look at the calendar here, since we have everybody no, here. The third. Yeah, the third will be the next game for us. 
Okay. All right. Dank memes. And then what's the one after that? Uh, it's every other week. Uh, so the so, 17th? Yes. Okay. Yep. So every other week, uh, we will be holding our next session, uh, mainly because I have to write out uh, the story based on everything that's changing with you guys and what you guys are doing, and then what the other side is doing. Um, so yeah, we'll take two week breaks in between. I fortunately have like the dungeons planned out for the next three weeks for everybody, uh, or the next three sessions. Uh, I just need the backstory that I'm going to fill it in with. Um, but with that being said, that's kind of where we're at tonight. Uh, give me just a second. I'm going to say bye to chat and then we'll do our post game wrap up thing. Okay. Can we close roll 20? No? Uh, you are welcome to, if you want. All right. So with that, Thank you guys, all of you, for joining us and watching tonight. I very, very much appreciate all of you being here. This was so much fun. I am so glad that I was able to, to do this for everybody. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know the, the pirate fight went on a little longer than I would have liked, uh, but I feel that this gave us a good cliffhanger as well. Uh, leaves us in a good spot and kind of gives me something to work with next week as well, our next session as well. So. Thank you guys again for tuning in. 7.30 Eastern Time tomorrow, D&D &D Sunday, if our session is still a go. I know there were some questions about that before. Uh, if not, then I will probably get on and we will find something to do anyways. Um, in the meantime, uh, I'm going to send a raid over to Elspeth. Uh, she is doing a 24-hour stream for thanking all of her wonderful subscribers. Uh, so we're going to send it over there. I very much appreciate all of you being here, like I said. Thank you for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you have any suggestions, please feel free to let me know. You're welcome to send me a message here uh, on Twitch. I'd be happy to hear from you. Have a good night, guys.